Dude, I, I feel like it's not, like, a unreasonable, like, conclusion to arrive at if you see a butcher shop pretty much next to anywhere else. I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to open a butcher shop next to any other consumer, uh, like, m any kind of market or anything. It should be, it should just be against the rules. Get it out of here. I don't want to know. I don't want to even think about the fact that you could be, like... Like, I could go in for, like, sh uh, looking for a new pair of shoes, and you say, hang on, I got some shoes that would fit your stupid clown feet in the back. Why don't we go back there? And then I, I, I get my feet stolen. I get my feet stolen and then sent to the butcher. Just my feet, and then they leave, they let me leave, and I have to wobble out. You know, like, I don't trust that as far as I can throw it. Butcher next to a retirement home. There, look, this is exactly what I'm saying. There just sh shouldn't be allowed. They're, they're just, they just shouldn't be allowed. Ever. Do you still get the clown shoes? I don't know. Do you think my feet have suddenly changed in like the last like half a year? No, never. Look, as far as I'm concerned, just butchers have to, like, not, just get, just stay in designated areas where I can trust you. Because most of the time, I just don't. I just don't. I haven't, look, it's not, I'm not trying to pick on butchers, okay? But I haven't met one in my whole life that doesn't give me full-on... Like Sweeney Todd, I eat people or, and or feed people to people vibes. I haven't met one. I haven't met one that I would be, ever be like that. No way that guy has ever considered fucking cooking people up and eating them. I'm not saying that butchers do that. I'm saying that they should try harder to make sure that sort of optic, that, that the public optics on them don't automatically you know, go to, this guy probably eats people. He hates butchers. Dude! Look. I'll order all of my meat mass-produced from massive cattle farms across the country! Alright, I don't need no random singular butcher to handle my beef. I buy it packaged in plastic straight off the aisle. Okay. I don't want to I don't I don't want some random guy to handle my beef. I love frozen processed meat. Look, chat. I know a butcher, he's cool. I don't know. I don't know, because like the thing is then, like, if someone says, oh, I know this butcher, he's cool, then now I have to check if I think that person maybe eats people and they're in on it. I don't know. I don't know, dude. You ever had any cons any thoughts about, about snacking on human? You sicko, you sick freak. You, you sick bastard. I bet Tomato would be a butcher if he wasn't a streamer. Nuh-uh. Wrong. Circle, <laughs> thanks for the- Thanks for the five, 10 gifted subs, that gets you the funny sound. That was a little quiet. 
Sorry, I can't. No, no, no refunds. I said they're trying to give it subs though. Really kind of you. Again, wrong. Nope, not happening. Tomato does give off butcher vibes. Yeah, but do I give off good butcher vibes or do I give off, uh, I'm opening my butcher shop next to the shoe store vibes? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do I, what kind of, what kind of butcher vibes do I give off? <laughs> I don't know. It's just, uh, look. It just seems like, it seems like a lot of work to, uh, to murder and butcher and then prepare and cook and eat and then prepare and cook and then sell to someone. That's, that's a lot of work. This isn't like a psycho in the woods murdering someone and then eating them and that's like the end of it. The process of kind of having to fully prepare an entire person and then cook them into something is just too much work for me. Like sure, there's a market there if I was from like the 1700s. Sure, there might be a market if I was some old timey bastard. But in the modern era, I just don't think the cannibal butcher market really exists. Tomato, are you worried that butchers are preparing human meat or are you worried that you've had it and liked it? Dude, there's not a single moment. Look, okay, here's the thing. Literally has never happened. Let me tell you why. I don't think I've ever, I don't think, because of where I live, mainly, if I lived like more central to a city, sure, I'd probably use butchers and their meat more often, but I don't. So I get my meat from a fucking supermarket. <laughs> so so the, the dynamic is a little different. I don't, I don't get that. That mom and pop butcher vibe from the fucking like random teenager in like the deli aisle that almost cuts their hand off whenever I ask them to get me like a slice of turkey. Okay, I don't, <laughs> they, I don't think they would intentionally attempt to feed me anything because they're too busy fucking barely scraping by with their life because they look away from their deli like slicer for one second and rip their whole arm off. <laughs> So, so, they're pretty dialed in on their work. Apparently, you can get a brain degenerative disease from human meat. Yeah, I mean, if you feed a cow, cow, it gets mad cow disease, and then you super die. Like, look, things shouldn't eat the same thing that they are. It's just, it's just kind of, it's just kind of, like, if you, if things give you diseases when you do that, you probably shouldn't fucking eat them. I don't think. We, we can all agree that cannibalism, I am going to get up on this here hill and I am going to make a statement that some of you may find controversial. Here I go. I don't think... Cannibalism is good. I think it is bad. And we shouldn't do it. However, <laughs> if big cannibalism wants to reach out to me and send me a lot of money, I will shill super hard. I won't eat it, but I will shill it. If Big Prion Disease wants to reach out, if the if the Big Prion wants to reach out to me and get me to try to convince some impressionable Zoomers <laughs> and pay me a lot of money to do it, I would consider it. Dear YouTube, I hope this message finds you well. I do not actually like cannibalism. Thank you, Katie, for reminding me to uh, put out my official statement.
It's really important that I put out the official statement midway through. How did we get here? Well, we're playing a game about uh, lang lengthy pork, so, you know, it's kind of the territory. We're literally playing a game about it. Almost April, thanks for the 200 bits. And tap water. Apparently this game's really good, according to some people. Some other people claim that it's awful. I don't, <laughs> it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, but every once in a while, one person's review comes by when I was looking and they're like, this game fucking sucks so bad. I fucking hate it. So, who knows? Which people do you believe? I believe all of them. If someone, look, I, I believe all reviews. Thousand max with another 10 gifted subs. Unfortunately, due to a secret RNG mechanic behind the scenes, you do not get the funny sound. Bad luck. I just rolled the dice here on my side for the secret RNG mechanics, and you don't get the funny sound, according to the dice. Rolled a nat one, but it's a hidden nat one. <laughs> You'll have to take my word for it that you've rolled poorly. <laughs> Vitamin K, thanks for the five gifted subs. Oh my God. Oh my god. Thousand Max, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Unfortunately, you've, uh, unfortunately, RNG has been balanced against you because of the five gifted subs that came in before you. It's sort of costing you, uh, no refunds. Unfortunately, someone, someone slipped in. <laughs> before you, uh, before you got it. But thank you for the 10 gifted subs, anyways. And Vitamin K, thank you for the five gifted subs. And congratulations on being the, uh, second funny sounder of the stream. It's really an honor. Literally pay to win. Not even pay to win, it's gotcha. <laughs> Cause if it was pay to win, if you paid, you'd get the sound. We have, we have machine algorithms and AI deciding who does and doesn't get the sounds. Super, super rare tomato sounds. Thousand Max, thanks for the five gifted subs. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, <laughs> oh, dang, I thought surely the machine AI would spit it out. Unfortunate. You know? Top Hat Goblin, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Ah! Oh, that's gotta, that's gotta sting for anyone that's been gifting subs. Tyru, thanks for the gifted sub as well. Ah! Oh my god, that's a that's a double. <laughs> RNG getting queued up. <laughs> Peter Hosenmeister with the gifted sub as well. Oh you must have thought. Cringe! Beep. Cringe! Fat and non, thanks for the gifted sub. You gotta be kidding me right now. Unfortunately, the AI. <laughs> the AI that does exist in Israel. Disagrees and is uninterested. The gnome magician, two gifted subs. Oh. 
Hello? Oh, you got the, uh, you actually, you actually bugged it out. You bugged it out. It bugged. I have to ban your account now. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's, uh, that's against the rules, so I gotta, I gotta kick you out. Unfortunate. Ultra rare misprinted funny sound. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, we destroy those. Anyone that's in possession of one of those misprinted funny sounds has to fucking destroy it. Or face my wrath. That's a violation of my t of my TOS, dude. Dude, I got one of those cool stress headaches today that's not going away. I'm good for streaming, it's just like, just so you all know, I suffer for this. Just so you all know. Yeah, I know also that a lot of people were excited for me to complete uh, the quarry. Unfortunately, that won't be happening just because I was going to finish it on Saturday and uh, due to the nature of it, and the fact that a lot of people have just completely instantly cleared it out. I'm going to wait until the multiplayer is out now and then uh, continue it or restart it with uh, a friend in like a month and a half or whatever. Be it Kraken or someone else, if he ends up doing it with someone else, then I uh, will go from there. <sighs> Anyone know the song? Dude, if someone says they don't recognize it, this is from, like, Yoshi, all right, I think that instantly outs them as a Zoomer. <laughs> I think that's, I think this is, like, a, a Zoomer detection machine. Like, this, this song outs you. You got caught, but you are a Zoomer. I know, but I'm a cultured Zoomer. I've I've done it all, dude. I've I've explored all the realms. I've I've been everywhere. Tomato is not a zoomer. You guys listen here. I'm either a boomer and ancient or a zoomer and still young and spry. But like you can't all decide on which one's which. So I get to choose, and I'd rather be a zoomer than a boomer. Okay? I'm still young! I'm still young! 26, right? He's zooming. I'm gonna be... Uh... I, I'm gonna be 26 in, uh, two months. I'm- I'm zooming so hard. Zooming towards the grave! Yeah, I mean, 25 went by fast. It's probably because all my fucking cells are dying faster than they're regenerating now. Kind of blasted by. But in the, uh, on the plus side, the faster it goes by, the less my body is in complete agony, or at least the less I can recognize my body's in complete agony 24-7. So it's kind of like a net positive. I'm 28 this week, and I'm ready to die. Smile. I hope that by 30, like, my my body just gets all of my horrible aging processes out of the way, so I can just be stuck at a level of discomfort that will remain the same for the next, like, 40 years afterwards. I'm hoping by 30, my body just kind of gets its shit together and chooses on a level of pain that I can just hold. <laughs> I think the consistency would be nice. Like, even if it's like, even if it's like bad, I, the consistency would be nice. Instead of like a new one every day, like a new problem every day. The pain 
is ever evolving. It never gets any better, streamer. Chronic pain, gotcha. Look, dude, it's the price I pay for being tall, all right? The shorter and denser you are, uh, apparently the less back pain you get. That's the one I'm gonna get. Lies. Well, imagine being short and also having back pain. That's really sad. <laughs> Cause like, oh man, you got less of it to have pain in. Uh, factually, there's less of it and you're still in pain. And the left handed. Yeah, well, that's my sin. I guess. I guess I. I don't know. I don't know what I did to deserve being left handed, but, um. I've learned to live with. I've learned to make peace with the fact that, uh, you know, I'm gonna. That my, my lifespan is shortened by like 20 years. I've made peace with that. Left-handed Dutton and allergic to sun. I'm just sensitive to the sun. I just burn easy. I know people that are actually allergic to the sun, and I wouldn't want to have to li live a di like a day in their shoes because I feel so bad for them. Because they truly live in misery. All right. They are called vampires, jackass. Literally, it's like being a vampire. <laughs> It's vampires without the cool parts, like being immortal. <laughs> it's, it's, you're just a really lame one. <laughs> so, Morbius. No, vampires are cool. Well, I would say the immortality part of a vampire is pretty cool. For the next, like, you know, for the next extended amount of time that humanity continues to exist. And then after, like, this, uh, our current lap in existence is done, I would say being a vampire would suck so fucking bad again. Suddenly it would suck really bad. The immortality part is more and more horrifying the older- Well, the thing about vampires is that it's immortality with like the easy- Look, vampires have immortality in the best possible form, which is, all right, I'm done, walks outside, and they're just gone. Like some idiot that like gets immortality by some other method that doesn't involve vulnerability to a, a very easy thing to find is going to have a real tough time. That's the ones I wouldn't want. Like I'd rather have immortality, but in parentheses it says, oh, except if you like ever get any water on you, you blow up than I would ever getting, like, immortality forever, lol. But they have no souls. What is a soul? What is a soul? What is a soul, though? Yeah, what if your hair falls out like Nosferatu? Let me tell you something, Chet. If I became a mortal, okay, and I became an undying being, all right, the things that would concern me would change. <laughs> okay, my, my focuses would shift from uh, going paycheck, like getting my money, hoarding my money, being able to sustain myself, to, uh, like, world domination, pretty much overnight. Uh, my hairline would not be a concern anymore. Okay, it would go from, like, how do I, like, make money and proceed to live my life, to, like, okay, how do I survive if in, like, 600 years, every human faction is, like, I'm gonna nuke us all. H how do I get my bunker going? Because now I'm gonna live long enough that it now matters again. Now everything, the entire, everything I care about shifts in a much longer form. Where, like, I don't give two shits about my hair anymore, dude. I'm gonna, you guys are, like, like, in the blink of an eye, you'll all be dust and I'll still be here bald! <laughs> 
I'll still be bald! So who cares? I need to find a way to, like, be comfortable forever! <laughs> Did you know that 9 out of 10 Nosfortos suffer hair loss? Not with today's sponsor, Keeps. Boon? One? Alright, this- While I appreciate the joke, uh, I actually, like, have in the past been like I, I can't I get offers by companies like this for sponsorships and the fact that I had to read your fucking message out loud and therefore they cashed out on thousands of dollars worth of sponsorships for free pisses me off <laughs> that pisses me the fuck off man that's like fucking doing some VPN ad in my fucking chat and tricking me into reading it <laughs> Like, any VPN company has emailed me before and been like, Dude, I'll pay you thousands to fucking just say it once, dude! Just say it! Yeah, I, uh, I specialize in guerrilla marketing. Uh, I just go into... I, I, you, you pay me $20, company, and I will go into someone else's Twitch chat and trick them into saying your brand and advertising it without you having to pay them a penny. That's actually a pretty interesting business. Just socially hacking streamers into reading out and like advertising your company. It's kind of like a more elaborate version of Coke gaming, you know? That's kind of that's kind of what we're looking at. We just went away. Chuck E. Cheese did it, dude. Does look? There are brands that have been around for long enough that I don't think they need advertising anymore. All right, the people that fucking care. Have had it like truly embedded into their fucking psyche at this point. Like I don't, you don't need to tell me Chucky anything about Chucky anymore. Like I get it, I know, I I know he's been around. <laughs> he's timeless. Like I don't need advertisements for McDonald's anymore. I don't need to know what McDonald's has ever. Just don't. Isn't it just getting kids at this point? No, you don't. Kids don't have money. <laughs> I want to advertise to the parents. It's one thing I know I didn't have when I was a child, and that's any money. Although I guess the one thing I also had as a child was limitless time to complain to my parents about going to do something. But, um, <clears throat> that never got me to Chuck E. Cheese. That never got me to Chuck E. Cheese. Not once. Look, at this point, I think that companies need to decide if they want to advertise to me, the adult, or the children of the world. Because honestly, I'm down with them advertising to the children of the world. Because if like all ads are just like, we're, we're pivoting. From now on, every ad is going to be advertised to children. And we're just going to bank on them complaining to their parents about it forever. And I would just, that'd be really easy. I would just avoid children for the rest of my life and never see another ad forever. In most of the world, advertising to kids is illegal. Dude, uh, I would be fucking... It would be so good if you could, like, turn on, like, Nickelodeon and there was never an ad. Could you imagine? Back in the day when you were a kid, there was never a commercial. Uh, 
all as concentrated in YouTube kids. It's just paid programming at that point. It's the it's that fucking it's that channel you accidentally butt dial to when you're like fucking when it's like 4 a.m. and you fell asleep on the couch and it turns on it's just some guy accidentally sticking half his hand inside of a food processor. Oops, all ads. I remember being mystified by those things, by like the channels that were like just ads. Cause I'd be like, nah, there's gotta be a show in here, dude. There's gotta be, dude. And there never was, but they advertised to me hard. Cause sometimes I'd wake up really early when I was a kid and I would watch paid programming. Cause I was a fucking idiot. I was like dumber than dirt. If paid programming were YouTube channels, all right. I would have been making a YouTuber a lot of money. All right, they would have been cashing out on me, cause like I was a I was a fucking moron. I would I would watch tons of commercials like just cause I I didn't know what the fuck I was ever doing. I'd get lost on I wouldn't know the fucking channel numbers for like Nickelodeon and like Cartoon Network and stuff. So I would just get lost. I would get lost in the te in the television realm. I'd get lost, and then I'd be like, I don't want to get more lost. So I would just stay in paid programming because at least it was familiar to me. That is so cursed. Yeah, it's well, it's what I, it was my life. He's comforted by capitalism, as should we all. God, it brings a fucking tear to my eye. Hey, little boof pack, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Oh, hmm. that's a quiet one. But it happened. Did ultra rare quiet scream. Damn, dude. That's a collector's item. No way! Guess how much money it's worth. Nothing. It's worth nothing. It has zero value. <laughs> Why is that guy so round? You are just jealous, and that's okay. You can also be asking, why is he so bald? <laughs> There's so many things to ask about this guy. He's an immortal bald vampire. Nah. Why is his briefcase made out of wheat thins? It kind of looks like an unfrosted mini wheat, doesn't it? Kinda, it kind of does look like a giant, unfrosted mini-wheat. Overcooked pizza roll? Dude! Pizza rolls can go to fucking hell, chat. That's it. I've just been reminded of things from my past. My dark past. I've had enough of them. Pizza rolls can go to hell. Dude, I'm just, look, anything in roll form that captures a bunch of food inside of a little pocket can go to hell. Because I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> they aren't, fi something in those things breaks the laws of physics and they never lose heat. And that's a problem because I don't think I've ever been able to eat like a Hot Pocket or a pizza roll without burning the entire inside of my whole mouth completely. And by then it's too late. I'm fucking sick of it. That's your fault? No, it's not! No, it isn't! They're insulated. Dude! Look, one in like 500 people is making a fucking hot pocket and then going, it's time to take this on the bus with me and all the way around my whole zone. 
Like, I know when I heat the thing in the microwave, I want to destroy that thing, like, within a couple of minutes. No one's like, mmm, I can't wait to get to this in 40 minutes. No, I want to get to it, like, now. I, it, fucking awful. Like, I genuinely, chat, I reached a point where I was, like, min-maxing my fucking, like, Hot Pocket and pizza roll time so much that I would pull it fully cooked out of the microwave and throw it back into the fucking freezer and come back into the five minutes. Because I needed it to recool once it was done defrosting. Imagine microwaving anything. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm a very good microwaver. I'm really good at eyeballing it. I just eat them frozen. I bet you freeze eggs and eat them too. Fucking nasty food pervert. I'm really good at pressing buttons. Dude! You're so fucking jealous right now, dude! <laughs> I can tell! It's sad! Didn't someone in D&D &D eat a frozen egg? Yeah. Yeah, Juniper said she was lying, but I don't fucking- I honestly don't buy it. Cause like, every couple days... In like the D and D chat, she posts a picture of an egg with like a different egg with a different bite out of it in the freezer, like every every week. So like at this point, it's like, is it a bit or is it like, is it real? Cause like you don't you don't do it every week. Uh, it's raw egg. It's a raw frozen egg. <laughs> I'm glad that you see. Here's the thing: is that. I know I'll be cost, I'll be casting some doubt onto this one specifically when I say this, but I do really love that I have full power until someone decides to leak every private DM I've ever had in my entire life to basically fabricate whatever th whatever I want about any of my friends, uh, because no one can stop me. Like I I can tr pretty much do whatever I want out here, because <laughs> in order to stop me, you'd have to leak every single DM we've ever had. <laughs> Because otherwise, I could just say, like, oh, you skipped around. Why would you skip around it? And I could fabricate the part, the part you, like, skipped around. Like, there's no way to stop me. <laughs> I'm the master of reality. I decide what happens in this room. <laughs> or the other party could deny it. Nah, that's not how the internet works, though. Because the funnier thing is the thing that's true. The funnier, more outrageous thing is always the thing that's true, according to the internet. So, uh, if someone says, no, I, I, I don't brush my teeth and then swallow all the stuff that was in my mouth when I was brushing my teeth, I can just say, wrong. You tell me that every day that you do. <laughs> I can just say, wrong. And then Chad will go, wait, are you the fucking guy who swallows everything in his mouth when he's done brushing his teeth? I decide! <laughs> Bitcoin at 23k, what do you think? Dude, let me tell you. Kraken eats kiwi skin. Aw, oh, yup. Yup. He actually has a drawer of them. I went, when I've been at his place, uh, I've like opened a fucking drawer in his fridge and it's just full of just the kiwi skins like the the kiwis are de-skinned There's one drawer for the skins and one drawer for like the fucking loose kiwi flesh like the like the the, the balls <laughs> He's got one drawer for skin one drawer for the fucking for the balls Don't call it flesh That's what he labeled it as in the post-it note I'm just staying true to what he said. Because it's real. <laughs> I 
Riddle me this! <laughs> so that's, uh, that's the only... I'm never ever gonna say, like, I'm lying. I'm just gonna... You'll know if I'm full of shit because I go... <laughs> I just start laughing like a psycho. But that might also just be my laugh now. What's worse, tomato, kiwi leather or watermelon crust? Are you asking me what's worse of those two term, like the term describing it as crust? Because <laughs> calling watermelon like the shell of a watermelon, it's crust is actually truly heinous. I, <laughs> it's absolutely watermelon crust. But it's kind of like a pizza. Well, watermelon is, in general, I think a fucking low tier fruit. So really, whatever we fucking call it, the only thing we should call watermelon is trash. So like, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, I don't, I don't care like what else we choose after that. Cause to me, uh, the whole thing is trash. You know. Watermelon is too watery. It's just, it's just, you all have lost your damn mind, dude. I'm tired of it. <laughs> have you tasted it before? Yeah, it tasted like trash. Tastes like water with a little bit of something else in it. Dude, the amount of flavor to size ratio in watermelon. I am a mortal being. I am going to die. I'm withering away. I don't have time to deal with watermelon's bullshit. I want to bite something and be like, I got my fill in one. And watermelon's like, you got to get like so much in to even really appreciate it for a second. Too much. Watermelon is concentrated flavor. You guys have full on lost it. Full on. There's just someone in chat just yells, I prefer the nutrient cube. True! I don't know what it is, but it's gotta be better than the fucking watermelon. I also think I would prefer the nutrient cube. Love the flavor of that cube. Bananas are low tier fruit. God, I fucking hate your guts. Hey, who invited this guy? Does anyone know this guy? Hey, dude, dude, who point to the person here that fucking invited you? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! That's what I do now. I single people out and ask them who invited them. And then regardless of what they say, I tell them to leave. <laughs> That's what I do now. It's my new thing. Yeah, ban them! <laughs> Be gone. Have you ever tried red bananas? They take forever to ripen, but they're super sweet and delicious. No, because red bananas sounds like something where you find out like years down the line, the only way bananas can turn red is if they're fertilized with human flesh. I'll stick to normal, good old fashioned bananas. Like, I don't want, I don't want anyone to be like, do you want like, want to try out blood bananas? Like what? 
Like, it, whenever something changes from one of its normal colors that I expect, it's wrong now. It's wrong now. You know? Plus, I don't really like anything that takes forever to ripen because there's like a chat. Look, here's honestly the problem with all fruit, uh, to some extent, is I've got a ban. I've got like about three days where I want that fruit that I just bought. And if it takes longer than three days, I don't fucking want it anymore sometimes. Like sometimes my mood for that fruit truly lasts about three days. And if it takes longer than that to get there, it's probably going to go bad on my like counter instead because I'm not going to eat it while it's ripe and good to eat. Like I'm just going to be like, I don't fucking want to eat it today. I don't feel like it anymore. And then it just gets worse. Okay. Plus, sometimes fruits are like... That's one thing I do like about bananas, like, in general, is that a banana is such an easy fruit to look at and be like, this is good. You don't have to touch it. Just look at it. And be like, oh, yep. That one's ready to eat. It's accessible. Banana sucks F to your food. Wrong. The shape is pleasing to me. All I can assume is that people that don't like bananas don't like the idea that it's like, I, I like a part of it has to be they don't like eating stuff that's like phallic looking. And to that I say pathetic. <laughs> pathetic. Dude, what are you scared of? <laughs> What, you scared of a little bit of cock? You scared of a little bit of a little bit of, a little bit of penis? <laughs> that ain't gonna hurt you unless you're allergic to bananas or you eat too many and you get potassium poisoning and you explode. But like that's a lot of bananas you have to eat to get that one. My crippling social anxiety, thanks for the 20 tier 3 gifted subscription! Wow, he actually didn't get the sound. What the hell? Damn. This RNG's cursed! Did! Play it now. I'm not a goddamn robot. <laughs> That's right, Chet, the AI didn't exist! It's always been me! I don't have the fucking budget to make an AI. I don't have that kind of money. It's always been me pressing the button. I. I am the one who controls the sound. And I say no one else gets the funny sound ever again. Dr. Jordan, thanks for gifting a sub. Ah, ah misclick. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for my crippling social anxiety for the 20 tier 3 gifted subs there. Very kind of you. Thank you. Extremely kind. That is one old bit. What are you talking? Like, what, the, the scream? Hey, Tomato, what if he just didn't? Damn, voice box, that's got some kind of sinister... Uh, undertones to it. Just ask him, what if I just didn't? Didn't what? Yo, we good, man? Didn't have to be so cute. <laughs> Stop, I'm live right now, dude. Come on. Dragon's Dogma 2 announcement today, right? <clears throat> Tom that person out. Please, mods. We have to kill off Delusion. <laughs> we 
have to squash delusion. We don't need people like you, okay, in here. We don't need you copium bastards. There's a reason we have the emo band. <laughs> You're not gonna get it. You're never gonna get it. Nothing's gonna happen to me. Dude! They're gonna announce Monster Hunter World 2, dude! No, they're not. They don't announce anything ever anymore. Dude, I did watch uh, the Starfield trailer, though. The gameplay. Dude. I know I tweeted about it, but, like, I was laughing almost the whole time I was watching it. Because it really, it really did look like at any moment during that entire fucking thing my precious baby boy could have emerged from the shadows you know what i mean like my precious guy my favorite boy could have just like they could have turned a corner like pivot you hear sound like rocks falling a little a little like like a step in the distance what's that fucking thing in the distance of the alien planet oh my god i could have seen it coming this guy fucking jumps out I was waiting for it. <laughs> Starfield doesn't look very good. I'm gonna be honest. Um, I'm no, I don't want to be like mean to Bethesda because I know Todd's trying so hard. He made the whole engine himself. It looks just okay, which isn't. Chat. Here's the thing: watching Starfield's gameplay didn't make me want to play Starfield when it comes out. It made me think about going back to give Outer Worlds another chance and then playing more No Man's Sky. Like, it, it made me just want to play, like, two other games as a, like, direct knee-jerk reaction. It was like, maybe Outer Worlds is suddenly better than I remember. And I was like, nah, I don't, I don't think so. So I stopped on that. And I thought, maybe I should play, like, No Man's Sky again because that one I actually know is, like, good and I like it. I was like, nah, I don't really feel like it. The only thing that gives me hope for Starfield is that Bethesda, like a bunch of delusional psychopaths. <laughs> hang on. Let's see if I can. The Bethesda fucking. Hang on. I'm grabbing a. I'm grabbing a screenshot. They posted this fucking tweet, but the way they word it is as if it's like. A grand achievement of theirs. Like, they, they put a lot of fucking dev time into this feature. I saw this, and it made me, it made me chuckle. Yes. Dialogue in Starfield is first person, and your character does not have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! There it is, dude! They fucking did it, man! Let's give him a hand! <laughs> Let's fucking go, dude! The devs finally discovered it! They figured it out! <laughs> like, I I get what the point was. It was most, uh, th like, their tweet was obviously to answer people asking it, but the way they worded it made it look like they were, like, dropping the mic. <laughs> yeah. Dialogue in Starfield is first person. And your character can't talk. Laters. It's like, yeah, fucking good. Like, oh, cool. The game will have actual mod support then, because at least for plot stuff, because people won't feel like the most jarring fucking shit ever whenever your character in a game that's always had a voice suddenly can't talk because they added new content. It means modding will at least have a better, like, better support out of the box. At least for, like, quests. Whenever, whenever like, a game that has a lot of modding support has voice acting in it, like, character voice acting for the main player, it's, like, instantly pulls me out of it so hard when there's any kind of story stuff or any kind of, like, quests or new dialogue, and it's all, like, silent. The less voices, the better, as far as modded games is concerned. I don't know how they expected modders to deal with that. Yeah, it's weird. I think they, I think, look, you know what I think Fallout 4 was? 
It was Bethesda fooling themselves into thinking that they could make a game that didn't rely on modders. You could tell by how just sort of modder unfriendly that whole game was. Like, from what I've gathered from how long it took for, like, really meaningful mods to come out for Fallout 4, it seems like it wasn't very modder friendly to begin with. Now, I'm not a modder, but, like, Skyrim had mods coming out for it fucking instantly. Like, as soon as that game fucking released, there was shit coming out for it. And it seems like Fallout 4 just wasn't at ever as easy to, like, manage. It seems like Bethesda was like, yeah, we got this one. We learned from Skyrim. We're going to make this one good. And then it just beefed again. So, it didn't release the creation kit for like six months. Yeah, and that's a big mistake. But I mean, I, I get it, because Bethesda wants to make money off of DLC. Uh, maybe now that Microsoft is running it, or at least has like some say, maybe it'll change. Maybe Microsoft will be like, I don't f just fucking put out the mod support like immediately. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think it'll still be the same thing which is a bummer because i think i think not having the creation kit available at launch for fallout 4 seriously fucking crippled that game's lifespan like immediately fucked its mods completely like yeah it has mods now but they're never as they're, they're nowhere near as good as like anything else and yeah other factors were at play like the fact that there was voice acting in the game which probably scared off a lot of like people that want to write stories and shit it would have for me if i was like a have you seen Halo Infinite? Wrong. What are you talking about? I I don't care about Halo Infinite enough to look up anything about it or care about it. So if you're referencing like something that happened with Halo Infinite, I don't care. I don't know what you're talking about. I've seen it. <laughs> I have. Microsoft can't manage a project to save their lives. Well, yeah, but Microsoft, look, Microsoft can doesn't need to manage it to just be like, hey, Bethesda, fucking release the mod tools. Who fucking cares? Like, at, at the very least, maybe, maybe, I'm not, I don't think it'll happen, but maybe we'll get lucky because the best thing that could happen for Starfield is them releasing mod support right away. I don't think anyone would disagree with that. You'd have to be crazy to be like, nah, the game doesn't need fucking mod support at launch definitely does like i i would go as far as to say that to an extent of all the if i was looking at fallout games like if i was a new player like i never played a fallout game before uh and i knew that modding was a big factor for fallout games i would look up immediately before i picked up which fallout game I wanted to play first, like the first one I was going to play, I'd look up uh, their mods and like what kind of the modding scene is. And I would see New Vegas has the most and I would play New Vegas because it's the one that has the most support. I'm telling you, dude. Although, if anyone ever picked up a Fallout game as the first Fallout game of, like, the modern era ones that wasn't fucking New Vegas, I think they're a sicko. I think they're little freaks. I literally won't buy games on console for the fact of modability. Dude, look, if you have a PC that can run it, I don't see why you'd ever buy a game on console ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have a console. That's the thing. It's the reason consoles exist is because not everyone has PCs that can run games because PCs are a lot higher maintenance. Like, if you have a PC, like, saying, like, yeah, I buy all my games on console because I like, I like the idea of just having stuff on my console. I don't know, dude. That freaks me out. Like, I have my consoles for exclusives, and that's it. And even then, I usually don't end up beating them. Like, uh, fucking Horizon Zero Dawn, the sequel, sorry, the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, I still haven't beaten. Nor will I ever, probably. <laughs> Nor will I ever, because it was promptly ruined for me last night while I was playing games with friends. Because I had to fucking, how? Because I was taught, I, I mentioned Horizon and... Wanna 
I think it might have been Dave or Gmart was like, Aloy in Horizon looks just like Nikado Avocado. And I was like, what? And then I looked it up and it ruined the entire video game for me forever. And I'll never, ever, 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 ever be able to enjoy this video game ever again until the day I die. Like it actually like full on was like, a, oh, I, I uninstalled the game. I truly uninstalled the game because I fucking they they told me about this. And now I can't <laughs> see it. <laughs> it actually ruined the game. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> I I literally can't. I can't. It's now it is now reality. It is these are the same picture. There are no differences. Cursed, cursed knowledge. Cursed knowledge. <laughs> it's so it's so bad because it's like a it's like a permanent like blemish on my memories. Like it, it I got halfway through that game and I'll never beat it because of this. I'll never beat it. Because now I'm whenever I play it, I'm gonna think I'm gonna think of these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I can't believe you've done this to us. If I have to live like this, all of us do. Okay? All of us do, dude. Too much insight. Yeah, this is... <laughs> The image on the right is what you fuck- on the left is what you see when you fucking reach 20 insight in Bloodborne. <laughs> your character- your character can suddenly see the truth. <laughs> I hate my streamer. I hate- Whoever was in the group last night that fucking told me this shit because it, it ruined my life. It, it ruined my life. <laughs> I'll never be happy again. I can't be. How could you be happy after this? You know, like, how could I possibly move on with my life? Who did it? It was Gmart or Dave. It was one of those two said it and ruined it. <sighs> I don't know which one. I don't know. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, who knows, man. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play the game. Uh, this is a game about cooking. This is a game about cooking people. Uh. I, I gotta spoil that fact for you pretty early in, cause they don't really waste any time. It's game about uh, be, uh, being a cannibal uh, chef uh, management store game. You ever see Sweeney Todd? It's kind of like Sweeney Todd. Uh, adjacent. It's kind of like that. This is about just about that kind of speed. Cringe. Look, man. They're just doing what they gotta do to get by. The movie or the play? I didn't watch either. Although for like fucking seven to ten years, my sister gaslit me into believing that I watched the movie, even though I didn't. Whenever I'd be like, I never saw that movie, she'd be like, I remember you seeing that movie with me. You were there. And I'm like, no, I, I wasn't. Never was. And then finally, like, while well, I was confirming it again that I didn't. Well, my family members like, oh, yeah, he wasn't fucking there. <laughs> He's never been in that. He never watched it. And that's the end of it. And I was like, thank you. I was never there. All right. 
Music, stop. I've had enough. But you were right there. I didn't watch. I Dude, I never saw the fucking movie. Never. Raven is devils. Play. Day zero. I barely slept while we were on the train. My <laughs> thoughts kept me awake with a burning fever to see our new home. My wife Hildred and I decided is that, to move suddenly. Is that Macho Man Jared Randy Savage? Our luggage. I swear to God, it sounds kind of like Macho Man necessary. Randy Savage. Ooh. We got a good deal buying this place near the river. We got a good deal owned <laughs> by a well-known barber in the town. Ooh. <laughs> this house is surprisingly large. There's enough space on the ground floor to turn it into a beautiful pub, while downstairs in the basement there's already a large cozy kitchen. I can't wait to get to know my new customers. These people are already talking I've like they're evil. Are these people evil? People eating the meals I've cooked for them lovingly. My husband, Percival, has cleaned the first floor and set his room up for business. <laughs> Am I? Thanks I'm just hearing the sounds of someone eating in the background. I'm hearing like. It won't be long before we see the women from the local district showing off the beautiful outfits he has made for them. We are going to bring home the gold with our business. You may wonder what the. Ooh, yeah. You may wonder what the secret to our business is. <laughs> I can't stop hearing it. I feel kind of sorry about killing them. We've decided to use an unusual ingredient in our specialties. As a result of insanely high meat prices. Due to sheer the meat prices are too high. So delicious. Human flesh is highly appreciated. We do not know the reason why, and we don't really care. I see, I see. Ah, uh, but don't worry. We don't waste anything. Mm -hmm. Even their clothes are cleverly reused by Percival. Right. They just need a little patching up and then they are ready for sale again. At full price, of course. Of course, naturally. <laughs> I will. We are. What are we, charity? So damn hard to do things right and earn as much money as we What are we, can. some kind of charity? I don't fucking. I'm not gonna resell the clothes on a sale. We're running out of meat fast. The people in this town are like hungry dogs. At least this means that moving here was the right choice. We'll get rich. Not too fast, darling. We must keep a low profile and work hard. You know all too well how much we're risking. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep repeating that. Ooh, oh, she's still talking. Hang on. Throw this corpse down into the kitchen. I'll take care of it. All right, let's grab this poor wretch. Sooner or later, I'm gonna end up breaking my back. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do I do here? Uh, when did we... I guess this is just a body that came with the building. All right, I've, de I've declothed them and thrown their clothes onto my used clothing pile, and now I'm gonna, I guess, just dump their body into this convenient hatch. Ugh. Ah, yes, it's as, it's as simple as that, chat. Why would you ever build your building with a just hatch that, is it just supposed to be a chimney? This is this music's wigging me out, dude. World of Warcraft dungeon. <laughs> it's just like Silver Fang Keep. The trap door is working brilliantly. It's time to stock up on some minced meat. The new meat grinder is great for larger prey. Let's grab the corpse. All right, lady. Damn, these people are strong, dude. If you just told me to pick someone up and throw them over my shoulder, it would, like, take me a minute before I could... I'd feel, like, pretty... That'd be hard. Bones and all? Bones and all, I guess. It's time to grind. I should clean this from time to time. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, no, there's a bunch of meat. We got some bones and all. <laughs> all of it. All of it. The whole thing. Every last, every last bit. 
I should take a look at my grandma's recipe book. I'll also be able to add all my future recipes to it. We only- wow, grandma really loaded up the fucking recipe book, huh, grandma? Grandma, is this really all you fucking left? You- this is- this is really all you could, uh, all you could leave behind, you fucking old bag? My husband's favorite. It points to nothing. Grandma- Dude, grandma's dementia really got her fast, dude, cause like, she was fucking- There's just fucking gibberish in here, and like, this is- the secret ingredient is crime. Grandma says, and then she does like a tongue face. Like, Grandma, what the fuck? What is this? She hated cooking. Tasty. This page is blank. Okay, I guess we're gonna cook something. Let's take out one of the ingredients. Okay, we're gonna... Hang on, I'm, I'm not done looking at the recipe here, so, uh... Cook a patty, or we could cook like a meat pie. Okay. Wow, Grandma's a... <laughs> grandma was a... Grandma was a simple lady. Here you can see one of her famous doodles. It's just a cat and it says meow to confirm that it's a cat. Thank you, uh, Grandma. For the, um... For the... Graffiti all over your own recipe book. Let's take one of the ingredients. Okay, now for the other one. We just merge some flour in here and some meat. And together, those create one whole! Believe it or not, this is how you cook. Food sort of just squishes together while it's heated. That's science. It'll be ready soon. By making some changes, I could cook faster. Or we could fix these two ovens. Though we'd need more money for that. We'll work that out later. The meat pies are looking golden brown. Time to take them out, lady. It's been 30 seconds. It takes super long for pies to cook. People nope, they're done. This. They're done. Let's take them upstairs. Wow, it's just it's as simple as that. Just take them upstairs. Oh, they look good. Wow, that made a lot of pie. It's a convection. Dude, I don't use convection that much when I cook. I found whenever I use like convection, I end up with like some horrible food travesty. I don't know why. I like, I, I don't trust convection with fucking anything. Nothing, maybe it's just that my oven sucks. My oven's old, maybe that's why. Maybe my oven's like shitty, shitty, bad convection. What's convection? What are you? <laughs> what are you, in, what are you, in, uh, you do, you, do you not cook things? Get an electric one. I do! I do have an electric! It is electric! I wonder if my husband is ready too. He has to clean up that mess on the floor. Let's take a look. He's just been standing here like an idiot. I had to clean this up. No one can come here until there's no blood left. No one can come here until there's no blood left on the floor. Let's get the mop and clean- It can't be this easy. I guess this is- There's God! Somewhere. Chat. It must have been easy to be a psychopathic murderer back in the day, you know what I mean? Like, I- There must have been so many psycho serial killer murderers back in like the 1800s. Like... Like, everyone must have been psychopathically murdering each other because no one could catch anyone. Like, I just- I did a mopping one time and this place is clean. It's done. Like- Like, good fucking luck, I mopped. <laughs> If you tried to do this now, like, if, if someone would come in with, like, a weird, like, Geiger counter looking thing and turn it on and go, beep, 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 and the fucking, like, people would immediately cuff you and be like, oh, we sensed blood particulates in the air. We got you right where we want, you idiot. There's blood in the air. And I, and you'd be, you'd be unable to do anything. There's blood in the air. What are you going to do? I stole some clothes earlier. The display mannequin in exposition isn't dressed. I could patch up some of the stolen clothes and resell them. Ooh. Turn on a fan. Imagine using a black light in the Jack era buildings. But if you used a black light in the fucking like old age, like the before times as I call them, as in any time before like the 1960s. 
you wouldn't be able to just differentiate any of the filth from any of the other filth because everything's covered in shit and piss and semen everywhere. All right? And you could murder 18 people and I wouldn't be able to differentiate one blood splatter on the wall with another. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I throw my poop out the window times. It was a different era. All right, let's 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 hang up my my creative clothing options. I, I'm a, I, I gotta I gotta make sure that we we can make money. Okay, so I I've taken someone's clothes and now I'm gonna take it over to the sewing board and just basically make a replacement pair. Okay, the clothes are ready. We take this off. I've I've fabricated new clothes. I hang them up. This is a masterpiece. I made this in 30 seconds in the back of my room. Everything seems to be set ready. Now we can welcome our customers. Open up the shops. Everyone, come in, ignore the boxes. Wow, look at all of you, really? Really trudging along. It's lucky that I filled the display stand, otherwise they'd have been waiting while I was cooking. Every meal has a different price. I cannot give it away for free after all. Wow, did we just make three pounds? Chat, how much was that back in the day? How much was how much is like three pounds? A lot. Like a billion dollars. Someone go back and ask them, now! I'll mark them differently from one another in the recipe book. They'll pay a lot for my delicious meals. Oh, it seems that someone new is coming for an outfit. You never know if your work and style will be appreciated. <laughs> this smells like someone fucking died in it. Wait, that... Dude? He didn't even buy it, he just walked out. My guy doesn't wash these, they're gonna stink like blood. Whatever, who fucking cares? Who cares? We don't want bad reviews getting out. Man, look, the thing is, look, here's the thing, here's the thing. No one, the Yelp doesn't exist. Yelp doesn't exist, online reviews don't exist. It must've been so easy to have a like shitty fucking business back in the 1800s too. Like, <laughs> like it must've been, two things must've been really easy. To be a fucking awful businessman and to also be a serial killer. So really these people are min-maxing the exact things you could do back in the day perfectly. I'm going to operate in the assumption almost every business was both ripping people off and making garbage and eating people and or feeding people to other people. I'm going to assume it was just pretty much the golden age of capitalism. You get away with anything. Mm-hmm. It's called talking to each other. Oh, yeah, sometimes I forget that, like, people have had language for, like, a very long time and could communicate. I just sometimes I assume that pe anyone that isn't from, like, the 20th century and beyond sort of goes like, <laughs> and they just make, like, gorilla sounds. Because, I, I mean, I feel like that's fair. I have an appointment pretty soon. I need to take a client's measurements. Okay, we're just gonna wait for the client. Ah, yes, please, come in. Come in. Yeah, let's walk right into the back. Now that we're alone, I can provide Ildred with some more meat. Wow, he's just, he's, uh... Okay, so I just, I just stabbed them. Yep, I just, okay. Okay. They're dead. Uh, wow, that was easy. I just clicked and it happened. Um, the clothes are ruined. They're covered in his blood. It was as simple as that. See, the thing is, chat, I'm assuming once we're through the tutorial, I'll need to, like, not kill and murder every single person I see because eventually people will be like, uh, yeah, everyone I know has gone for a measurement in that building and they don't come out ever. 
How the fuck you clean blood? I'll show you. There's Watch this. Blood everywhere. First, I rip off all of his clothes into a nice wheel. Then I pick him up and I huck him inside this big hatch. I throw, I throw all of it inside the big hole. And then the clients show up. I have to remind myself to clean up. I'm confident that Hildred is doing a great job. Coordination is key. Now, Hildred, where the fuck is Hildred? Where the fuck? Oh, she's up there still. Hildred, damn it! Pick this up and cook it. I need to move. Fast as I can. Faster. All right, well, that's happening. We need to we gotta wash this up. There's like blood on the ground again. We gotta wash up the blood. Mop. Yeah, it's as simple as that. Dude, how did people get arrested for anything back in the day? I don't know. I feel like I feel like I could. I feel like knowing what I know now, I could have done a lot of crimes back in like the fucking like 1800s. I feel like if I was a psychopathic murderer. Just to have- just own a mop. <laughs> Apparently, you can just own a mop. Wait, is this guy just in here? <clears throat> I should put this clothes on him- Okay, there's like stuff happening. I have to like actually play the game now. Hang on. Everyone just, uh, please remain calm. Please just- just, uh, stop. Hang on. To, uh, make- Uh, oh my god, I have to actually multitask. It's happening. Okay, uh, we're just gonna- Uh, fuck! Shit! Uh, pie. A minute, sir! You said pie. Fuck! I was supposed to help measure that guy. I missed my chance. <laughs> Fuck, I'm, I'm messing up everything. Uh, get this clothes. Get this out of here. You. <clears throat> it's gonna take forever for that to cook. Uh, I'm just not gonna go up there. They'll think that we're closed. Okay. Hold the fucking- get the fucking pie up! So good. Shut up! Get up there! Get up there! Run! Uh -huh. Run or you're gonna lose them! Alright, there you go, everyone. You know. He's gonna post a bad review on Yelp after this. Recognize that guy's face. He ever goes in for any kind of, like, fitting for clothes? Oh, that old bag just went into the wrong part of town. Alright. <laughs> Dude, you didn't even bother trying to pretend! This killed her! I was gonna like, I thought maybe we could like measure her properly and be like, all right, on your way, grandma. And like, let someone leave. No. <clears throat> all right. All right. All right, lady, you gotta get back down there and keep cooking. Shouldn't there be a body showing up? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get this body cooked up. We got work to do. Well, that's happening. Uh, get another pair of clothes on the thing. Get, <laughs> get that body ground up into chunks. That guy's buying a pie. It's self-checkout, so we don't have to worry about that. Thank God. Uh, 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 uh. Don't go back there. I like this color. We're not open for for measurements right now. Uh, uh, uh. All right. As fast as I can. Faster then. Vacant time. This looks like a mobile game, Ed. Your fucking name looks like a bot name. <laughs> there now we're now everyone's feelings are hurt. Are you happy? They're happy! Is my pie done? <laughs> now, now we're all sad. <laughs> now, now all of our feelings are hurt. Everyone loses. Pies on the thing. Very good. Clothes in the clothing. Ma'am, you're gonna need to wait there just one second. <clears throat> okay, so, uh, let's see here. And I immediately, I, there really is, I just don't even bother trying to fake it, apparently. 
Uh, there is no chat. There is no faking it. I don't. I'm. I, 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 I'm not fooling anyone. There's no. I don't actually know how to do the measurements. I need to kill. All I have to do today is kill one more client. I don't actually much care about selling any more food. I just have to kill another person. Another person has to die by my hand. That's all. Three pounds in 1900 is worth 392 pounds today. Wow, these two are making a lot of money. Uh, these two are making a lot of money, apparently. That's, uh, that's not a bad amount of income for eating people. A pie or a meatball? You know, we should make the other thing that isn't pie, because, you know, we gotta respect Grandma's memory. And Grandma's... Gra Mima? Said that, uh... Well, her hubby's favorite doesn't exist. But, uh, we can make some good old-fashioned, uh, just meat. Uh, in, in memory of Mima. That was her first recipe. Just a burger. Alright. Just a burger. Yup. Mima, God bless her soul, was, uh, really, like, a, just a super cannibal. Ate a lot of people. Oh, boy. She's gonna be looking for clothes, because we don't sell those right now. Welcome. Welcome. Please. Uh, stand anywhere you like. Moving. Ha! 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 Oh! Oh, I thought I was arrested. I thought that was, like, a cop. I thought someone was looking through the window. Uh, we're fine. Everything's <laughs> everything's fine. Starting over is never easy. There's a lot of improvements that need to be made. I wrote this list of things we need to do to improve our business. This way, we'll serve as many customers as possible with fancier shops. Let's see what we can improve. Oh, is this the upgrade section? Uh, let's see here. Well, it's gonna cost me over five thousand uh, USD in modern numbers to uh, purchase steaks. Uh, or anything really here. What about mail? I don't have any mails to read. Skins? I could buy skeleton instead of, uh... Yeah, I could make my guy look like a skeleton instead of a, um... Instead of a person. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, man. I could look like a skeleton. I could also, uh... Is that a rat? No, it's a cat. God damn it, I thought that was a rat. I thought that was- that would've been way more fun if that was a rat. It wasn't. Oh, we had actually quite a few. Tables. We could get some tables for people to sit down on. Uh, mannequins. No, we need- honestly, we need sewing- we need sewing speed. Level up the tailor stuff, the tailor- We need the tailor to be faster, we need the oven faster. Or we need more- no, we need oven faster. All right, let's let's just get let's just boost the speed right now. All right, let's get this delicious <laughs> meat out of so here. Good. Chad, I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking next uh, week I might um I might try to pick up because I've been watching my friend suffer playing it and I kind of want to hurt myself again eat. playing like a game that hurts me. Uh, it's been a little bit. Um, I think I I think I might learn and make a uh viewer league for uh blood bowl blood bowl 2 i think it might be time i've been putting it off for a long time i think it might be time to hurt myself bad hurt myself really bad i think i might look because here's my rat here's the one how i'm rationalizing it i don't need to do that much practice because i've watched it and it doesn't look like any amount of actual player knowledge helps you because at the end of the day, no matter what happens, no matter how good you are, uh, the entire chat and everyone's gonna be question marking because someone just gets perfect luck and wins anyway. So it's really just watching a bunch of like fucking dice attack each other. So, <laughs> I think I might, I think I might do that. Maybe put some fucking money on the line or something. I don't know. Or the game fucks you over. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on with it. I've been putting it off for a while, and I kind of want, kind of want something, something XCOM adjacent to play that I haven't played before. Oh yeah, Gmart played one match and rage quit after five years of not playing. 
Yeah, but he's like he, he he's like a he's like a weenie, dude. He's like a weenie, dude. I'm not a weenie, and I haven't been playing it for five years of hurt. Like I haven't hurt myself for five years, so like the pain I'll feel is like nothing compared to him. <clears throat> Hang on, I gotta fucking put this back. Gotta make I gotta make clothes, and I can reopen the shop. I'm glad we don't sleep. This is a masterpiece. Same rules as other league, like game cap for teams. I don't know what the fuck you just said. What did you just fucking say to me? What? Shut up. <clears throat> Shut up. Moving. Shut up now. The RNG is not as bad as Battle Brothers, so it's fine. That's also true. Like these boys don't understand anything about anything. And that's why they, like, they don't know. They think they know, they don't know. So like, I think I can handle pretty much any level of RNG in a video game, because I've played Battle Brothers uh, extensively. Uh, they don't know. <laughs> no, no one knows how much I hurt, okay? Oh, excuse me, I gotta make more pies. They don't know. Also, uh, Skyrim VR is now set up and will happen in the next uh, little bit, probably at some point this week. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a doozy. That's gonna be a really cursed doozy. I think it's running pretty well. As fast as I can. I, it took me a long time to prep though, so uh, that'll be that'll be soon. I may even see if it's possible. I don't know if it is. I might see. Uh, if I can get the Twitch integration mod that Kraken made working in it, in VR. I might see if that's possible. I doubt it will be, but if it is, I'll hook it up. It doesn't work at the moment. I might be able to tinker with it. I might be able to void the warranty and fix it. I know how, I know actually how to like do basic modding in Skyrim. I might be able to actually get it to properly work. Void the warranty. <laughs> VR's more finicky than normal with many mods. Why are you guys talking like I don't know that? <laughs> guys, I know. I'm in, I I I I know. You just don't have to give me like the basic VR tips. I know. I know. People will like this. I should probably open my shop. Because I've just been like making food quietly without like actually. Can I? Oh, the display is full. Okay. Uh, we just open it then. Now when people come in, they'll get they'll get the delicious smell of pie right in their face, and they'll go, what is that? Can I have some of that? And I'll say, no, buy the normal meat. And then maybe if you come back later, I'll serve you this. By then it'll be cold, but you can still enjoy it. Maybe. Everyone, come in, please. Buy some normal meat for 0.9. Wait, well, how much do I sell the pie for? Fucking like 1.3? That guy paid $4 for it. All right, so some people just get scammed. Oh, hang on. Hang on, this guy's coming back to get his, to get a, to get a fitting. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Ah! I got him. Okay. So, so far this game is interesting. I mean, the mobile game observation isn't really wrong. So far it's not really doing anything. It's like, whoa, holy hell. Blah, 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 fucking overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam uh, level. It's very simple, but uh, we'll give a little. I have other games tonight uh, on the list. So don't worry. This isn't the only thing we're playing tonight, but um, I'm, I'm waiting to see if it does something that gets me. Uh, because, um... Who is moaning? Someone's making, like... 
sounds. I think it might be my my the guy up here. Seems it does feel like it's a lacking variation. This game has the the thing is the game has very high reviews on Steam, and it's not like this is some AAA like this is like just a random indie game. So it's like it, it, it's people. I'm just, I'm curious when, if I'll reach the point where it's like ah I see I get it now I understand. I want to give it at least till I till I till I can see, you know what the what the point is. As fast as I can. Do you have to deal with tougher dudes? Doesn't even seem like so far anyone can catch me. What if I just don't mop the floor? <laughs> what if I never mop the floor? Hello, man. Please come. Maybe eventually someone will like be like, "Hey, I'm coming back there." Maybe. Because right now this is really just a this is a clicking game. I'm just I'm just clicking. All right. Delicious pies on the way. Delicious bodies thrown down the vat. All games are just clicking. You know what? <laughs> you know what, man? When you write, you write, man. At the end of the day, we can all agree on one thing. Most games are just clicking. <laughs> Delicious pies on the way. That guy's actually mad that we're not serving him. They look good. Okay. All right. Goodbye. Have a good day. Is my... Wait, oh, oh! Is this old lady gonna find my... Nope, she just walked, she's walking a lap. And we're officially closed now, so... Oh, 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 oh! Nope, she's leaving. Nope, she's looking at pieces of clothing. Is that a health bar? Uh, it might be her, like, life bar. I don't know, she's old. Apparently this is my last client of the day. Uh, I don't know, she's just been browsing for like three hours and now she's she's left. Nope, she's standing at the door letting bugs in to the uh, store. And um, nope, now she's doubling back to the clothes again. What happens if I, what happens if I mop this? If I mop this and she comes in, I turn the game off. I swear to God, if like they were waiting for me to mop the fucking the blood, I, I like that'll be like my sign to move to the next game. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? Masterpiece. Were you waiting for? Did you? Did you want it? Okay. Uh. Thanks for coming. She got mad at me. I don't know. I don't know why. I'd better check today's earnings. So, the day's done. We lost some rep. We gained some money. We got no mail. Uh, I, th I think I'm done with this. This isn't really grabbing me. I think I'm gonna move on to the next one before I fall asleep. Or I fucking pass out, dude. Or I pass out from boredom. Already? It's boring. I don't know why the game's got such high reviews. I, like, tested it, and I was like, mm, this game's got a fucking 92% out of, like, 3,200 reviews on Steam. So there's gotta be something good about it, but, uh, not, not for me. Not for me. Next game. Good news is we have other we have other games about doing mundane tasks and jobs. The next one's called uh well next one's called Helltown. <laughs> next one's called Helltown. Uh which apparently features disturbing and violent imagery, so heads up. Helltown <laughs> It's only four dollars four pounds to be fair. Uh I've played a lot of four pound games that are better than that and more interesting. Uh that game was boring. Uh, and that's me being fair.
For five dollars, that was a boring uh, spending of my five dollars. We're moving on. <laughs> Hell down. This is just a bad dream. I'm going to wake up in three, two, one. Oh. Uh, I missed the cooking stream. It was a bad game. We moved on. Where the hell's town? I like the filter on this one. Kinda. Hello? Anyone back there? Hold shift to sprint. Why? Am I being chased? Why? Is there someone after me? This is in a town. That's what I'm fucking saying. Oh, hang on. I see town. The town is right ahead. Oh, I know. That's just... It's just a... A tomb. Look at that. Yeah, that's the view from my apartment. Are you jealous yet? <laughs> you know, you could get here too with a little bit of hard work. With a little bit of hard work, you could have a view like this one day. Someone uh, threw a tarp over my window. Tonight's a night for the record. It's so hot. June 2nd. 1959. Jo Dr. John Rowe. Mr. Mr. I don't know why I thought he was a doctor. Mr. John Rowe. Isn't Rowe fish... fish eggs? Isn't that what Rowe is? My name is John Fish Eggs? Hi, Mr. Fish Eggs. I'm proud to offer you on the behalf of the St. Marion Postal Service the position of postman for a new division in Little Vale Residential Development. You will report to George Smith and your start date will be June 3rd, 1959. We will provide you with your delivery truck, your uniform, and other important information on June 12th, 1959 at St. Marion Postal Office. We're very pleased to include you and our family and are eager to see you at work. If you have any concerns, do not hesitate to contact us as soon as possible. Sincerely, <laughs> Does anyone know what the fuck that signature says? <laughs> Cause there's 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 no other details on this to tell who this is from. Uh, I don't. Br looks so kind of like bum, bum room, bum dum. Kind of like it kind of does look like bum dum. Well. I must get sleep. I must get sleep if I want to do a good job tomorrow. At mail. Chat, the second that I have to, at any point in my fucking life, say I need to get sleep or I'm not going to be able to do something tomorrow, I literally won't be able to sleep for the rest of the fucking night. It's truly impossible for me. It's, it's literally impossible. I can, if I'm like, oh, I have to get seven hours of sleep or I'm going to be a disaster, uh, I will never sleep. Ever again. Ever again. Possibly. No pillow? Why do I need one? I know people who sleep without pillows. Uh, I don't trust them. A new job. Chad, this is not a horror game, I swear. It's a game about delivering mail. I'm a mailman. What a nightmare I had last night. Didn't know I was such an imaginative guy. I'd better get going and see my new route. Here we are. Uh, this part of town uh, doesn't have any actual streets, so I park my car uh, in the most just obnoxious way possible, blocking all entry into the town. Skirt! I fucking cut it off, block the way, grab my stuff. First day in the job, an excellent one at that. I can tell a beautiful blue sky day, Chad. Get a look at that. Get a look at that sun. Get a, get a load of all that pollen in the air, all the allergies, the, those summer spring allergies. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers. 
and the, oh, and look at, and look at all the, look at this, look at this grass, look at this beautiful grass. Well, welcome to Little Vale, look at that. Look at this, look at this beautiful town. Look at all this, this beautiful goddamn town. Scenically next to those beautiful, uh, enormous power lines. Uh, that don't have any, don't have any cords attached to them yet. This is a pop-up town. They just start, they just start putting it all up. And the, uh, and the junkyard. Scenically right next to the junk, the, the junkyard. Ah, America. And these cars. The station wagon. Folks nowadays seem keen on them. And, the, and, the, and these beautiful garbage. This is the kind of America that we just don't get nowadays, chat. This is the kind of America we just smiling people. This is Rachel. They got a name tag. That's how I know. Back when, back when you used to introduce yourself with your first name to your poster man. The 1950s dream. Oh, you're the new postman, aren't you? How do you do? Don't talk to me. All right, I got a job to do, Rachel. <laughs> you gotta let you gotta let me stay focused, okay? Give the guy a chance; he'll turn around eventually. Look, the, people are just talking; they're having a good time. Uh, there's like a, a Fallout Four intro shit. So many things happened over there in that cabin; it's overwhelming. What the hell are you talking about, Grandma? In that cabin over there? Look, I got I, I got a delivery to do, but I got time to check. Is anything going on inside the the cabin? My dog's barking. Of course they are. They bark at everything. They don't know how to not. Maybe it's just an illusion, but I feel like somebody's watching me in there. Hello? Dude, I wish my dog wasn't scared of avocados. My old dog wasn't scared of avocados. <laughs> Why can't my new dog not be scared of avocados? I want to help them, but I can't. Don't compare. Look, it's just like, how do I how do I teach them to not be afraid of avocados without just putting an avocado in front of them? And then they'll be scared of it anyways, and they won't learn anything. Hey. Ah, Tim, what a stud. Is that Tim? Are you watching him from like fucking a quarter mile away? Hang on, I'm gonna talk to Tim. No postman, no mail. There's no, yeah, there's no mailboxes in this town. So I don't know who I'm supposed to be delivering mail to. Hi, are you Tim? You're, oh my God, you must be Tim. Once we're finished with this town, it'll be a nice place to stay. That's Tim. That, you can tell that's Tim because he's fucking gigantic. You can tell he's fucking huge. This guy's fucking huge. So, hi, um, soon. What a place to live. Is this just how it used to be back in the day when people used to build towns? Is there'd be a sign in front of the town as it's still being built that just says soon? <laughs> soon. Can I put that in front of my town now? Because I just don't really like how it is right now. Can I put a big sign that, that says soon? This place will be cool, and it's like a picture of, like, my artist approximation to what I think my town should be like. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Put in front of your house and just draw, a, like, a better house. It'd be like, soon. Hello, sir. Do we not talk? Okay. I don't even... Hi, uh, does anyone here... Who am I talking to? General store. Is there like a like a post office? We haven't been here long, but as you can see, we've built ourselves a nice little town. I so I'm just looking for the post office. I think I actually walked by it. Yep. <laughs> hey, I'm here the I'm the new postman. Hey there, lad. I'm in charge of the post office. Just check the deposit box for any packages and deliver them to their respective addressee. It's pretty simple. I pick up the package here and I deliver it to someone. It's light and smells like wild berries. Don't fucking smell the letters, you freak. Are you fucking kidding me? This guy pulled- There's people watching. 
I pull a, I put my hand inside the deposit. Oh my god! No need to rush things, my hands are full with this stinky letter. Chat, what did the letter even say it was going to? I didn't fucking read it. I missed my- I missed the lore because I got- I panicked. Because my character was talking about smelling the letters. Rachel. I met Rachel! 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 Rachel? You're not Rachel. You Rachel? Maud, we have- I have nothing to say to you. You're Rachel. You're the one at the entrance of town. Oh my, thank you. These herbs are perfect for the special tea I'm making. Who asked, lady? I didn't... Just fucking take it. D colon. Chat, look. I never... If I was a mailman, I'd never want anyone to talk to me. These letters seem to be packed with pin-shaped objects. They're, addre they're addressed to Patrice. Did I meet Patrice? We got a Patrice in this town! We got a... We got a Patrice here! We got a... Pa Patri... Patriki? We got... We got a... Hang on. We got a Patrice... Patrice in this town! Or not? Hang on, let me just... Oh... We got a Patrice in this town. Smells like your letter's full of some kind of pesticide. You got. Does that ring a bell to anyone named Patrick? All right. I heard there was a very devious vagabond housing himself in our town. I think he's spreading vicious lies about our community. The man's a loony. I don't look. Where's uh yo Patrice? <laughs> Is it fair to say that I can wander the woods looking for people if I <gasps> Oh it's a little guy! It's a little it's a wee little it's a little guy Yo There's a cat in here that's an achievement, dude! That's an achievement, dude! Not many people get that one. It's super rare. You have to be willing to explore in this video game. Not many people unlock that. Hey. Hey, man. You know where Patrice? You stop right there. Hey, fucking stop. You know where Patrice is? No? Okay. Yo, lady. Okay, you don't have a name. I can't talk to you. You can't be Patrice. Cindy, listen up, Neil. You have to get a hold of yourself. Not who I'm looking for. Anyone? Yeah, anyone know a Patrice? It's gotta be Patrice. One of these people. Well, it's gotta be her. Laura. That's not fucking Patrice. Betty. <laughs> Does she even exist? Does this girl even fucking exist, dude? It's a guy's name. Patrice. Patrice is a dude. Dude. That's not a very good- that's not a very good name. I'm gonna be- I, just, I don't know, I just don't automatically- I, I just don't- my dad's name is Patrice. Yeah, I mean, it's like the adjacent of being named, like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's a French male name. Look, it's like being called Jesse. It's like, yeah, it, it, it can be a male name, but it sounds, it sounds a little feminine. That's not a, it's just like automatically I assumed it was a feminine, like a female name. Or Taylor. Like, I, it, it's quite common in French. Yeah, well, last I checked, this is America. <laughs> this, last I checked. All right. We're in the USA! Ah! We arrived right on time! Thanks, lad! Okay.
This one's heavy and compact. Books, maybe? It's addressed to the pastor. It's just labeled the pastor. That should be easy. This one's simple. I just go up and give it to the pastor. Unless there's multiple. Uh, I'm gonna assume it's just you. You're the only pastor, right? My thanks. These volumes contain invaluable knowledge to my dark work. Okay. All right. All right, whatever you say, man. Weird. Pastor is a girl's name, <laughs> by the way. Looks like this was the last package for the day. Once I'm done wandering around, I should go check in at the hotel. Do I just fucking live here? Like, get a house, then. No, no, no. Bud, you can go home. So you're telling me that now that my guy's finished with his boxes for the day, I have... I'm going to stay here overnight while my car is currently, last I checked, blocking the entrance to town in the most genuinely obnoxious way fucking possible. I've sealed the town in. Unfortunately, I'm the last, I'm the last mailman you're ever going to get. Things are going to change in this town. Seems like in the past, y'all have lost the last couple mailmen to come through here. Yeah, well, as of today, things have changed. This is the, I'm the last one ever. I check in. Explore more of the town before going to the hotel. Devil Milk, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was mean. But also, don't tell me what to do. Uh, uh, I... Uh. I sleep with my door open when I'm at hotels because I don't like feeling isolated. It's just a thing I do. Also, I can't sleep without Jesus Christ hanging over my bed. I just can't. It's a thing I do. I, whenever I go to sleep, I pull out my, I pull out my, my Jesus, my JC, and I just, I just put it on the wall. It wasn't here originally. That's mine. Why, why is my door open? I left it open. Me. The driver of this vehicle. I opened it. Because I like to let the room breathe. Hello? Wow, look at that outside. Look, you can even tell there's the... There's a lamppost. And there's another one, and there's like the... There's the roundabout. Hello? Don't like that at all. What is this doing here? Just a bunch of garbage. What the f- Man, who you think you're fooling, man? <laughs> you're not even scary, you're just like- I just, I just couldn't believe it. I just, where do you get off thinking that you can fool me like that? Dude, if ghosts really do look like they just have sheets on them, I'm gonna fucking punch one. Like, I would just punch one. That, was, no, that wasn't scary. Don't give them that. I looked at their fucking unsocked shoes and I fucking knew a mile away. Give it up, idiot. The hell someone else is in here and also does the thing I do with Jesus. What a mess. What could have happened in this room? I don't know, man. Looks like a... Maybe like a dog? Or like a demon? Is that ghost still there? Fucking Scooby-Doo villain. Like, this is like... This is the fucking owner of the hotel trying to, like, make money. Off of like scaring like the people that stay here or something. But, uh, that's not like a. That's not. I'm not worried about that. It's like truly like the owner. <laughs> Whoever owns the hotel is trying to like scare me into leaving, so it doesn't. What the hell was that? 
And then I think I just also heard them, like, lock the door of the room that they ran into. I heard, like, a click. Hello? Hey, man. Bro? <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. I have a, uh, I had a bungee cord attached to my belt so that, like, if anything startled me, I could press the button and retract myself back into my hotel room. It's a thing I do when I go to hotels that I'm not familiar with. I, I zip myself away as fast as I can. So if I see, like, a ghoul get someone, I can just, like, yoink on back. JC yanked me back. Yeah, Jesus had my back. He saved me. Good morning, everyone. Never heard of a guy named Neil, no sir. Neil? Neil who? I didn't... I didn't ask about a Neil, you two weirdos. This is like when... This is like when you murdered someone, but, like, you're afraid people are gonna ask you about the murder you did. So you just keep asking... You keep, like, denying it, even though no one... Like, you outed yourselves. Where's Neil? <laughs> Eyes on Neil. Where's Neil? Neil? You know a Neil? Come on, lad. These packages won't deliver themselves. Let's do this. It feels soggy. The smell is horrible. It's addressed to stop smelling the boxes. Ah! Oh, hey! Oh, hello! Oh, you're a little good dog! Now, are you just after... Do you want to hang out with me? Or are you just after my box that smells like garbage? Is there a person here named Laura? <laughs> Chat. Is Laura commonly like a female name? Or am I gonna, is this like another French thing where like this is gonna like throw me off course? Like I do wanna be sure. Like because I don't wanna look like a buffoon twice in a row. Like so I'm gonna just check. I'm taking him to the cat, dude. Taking this dog to the cat. I want, not because I think they're gonna be like enemies, but because I think it might be like. Hee hee ha ha. Kind of funny. Where is the cat? Chat. Was this not where the cat was? Is this now rocks? The hell's going on? I. Uh, the cat's gone. The cat's gone. The dog's gone. Oh no, it's all going wrong. It's all wrong, it's all fucked. Everything's fucked. Chad, everything's fucked, man. Lilith showed us. She has shown us so much, lady. You gotta stay away. You gotta get like someone else to do today. Oh, there's a dog. Hey. A good boy. Where's, uh, where's, now where's Laura? Laura? Are you Laura? There it is. It'll go nicely above my fireplace. It smells like... Did you, like, try to get, like, a taxidermied animal head? Because I think they forgot the taxidermy. I think it's just an animal's head in here. Laura, you may want to have that disposed of. A good dog, though. A, a certainly good boy, nonetheless. Uh, no one can deny. Where is everyone? Yeah, we're using the leftover materials from the houses. I hear you'll be done tonight. What are they making? What is this? What are these people? What is all this? Where's my dog? Ah, whatever. They'll, they'll catch up. I might, I might break and enter into this room quick. Oh. What am I hearing? Where's that cat? Did you guys hear that? Uh, I got a dark symbol. Like a cursed symbol. Uh, that was making like sounds. I, I collected an artifact. While I was out here. Yeah, with with my hands. With, with them. Bare hands. Ungloved. 
as you do. I'll check the rest of the perimeter of this place in that case. Just in case. I also may grab my next piece of ma- That person hiding in a bush? Ma'am? I hate that dog. I always hide in the bushes when he comes around. Now nah, the dog's all right. What the fuck's your problem? I hate you. Hey. 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 Come with me. All right. I want to I want to I want you to help me startle this lady. I'm going to scare the shit out of her. Yeah, right here. This is the one. This is the one. I guess it's not going to I don't think they're going to react the way I want. It's an unfolded piece of paper. It's addressed to Violet. It's just a piece of paper that says it's dealt with. Yo, who are you Violet? No, you're Grace. Yo, you know where Violet is? Have we? I, I haven't really been committing these people's names to memory. I know that's Laura. Yo, you're Violet? No, you're Maud. Which is like a... Wait, I think I see another one of those runes. Wait, oh. I see. The rune went on to it. Oh. Yeah, I could go in here. I got time. I got time to go into the scary cave. What is this place? Yo, Violet! <laughs> Violet! <laughs> I'm here to make a, I'm here, I'm here to deliver, uh, maybe you're in here, I see there are lit candles, so I'm assuming there's someone in here, by the obelisk. Violet, I got a letter here, it's unwrapped, it came unsealed, uh, I actually managed to get myself stuck by jumping, yep, I'm stuck now, I fucked up. Yep, I broke it. Completely broke the fucking game by doing that. Yeah, it's a $5 horror game for you. God damn it! God damn it! Now I gotta re-deliver to Violet. Or Laura. Alright, let's... Back to Laura. Laura, here. I got you this. I got you the stinky head. And I have to go collect the dark rune from the junkyard again. A second time. As people remind me that I need to go collect it, as if, like they believe I'm some kind of like senile old man that would forget in 30 seconds what he did last time. This isn't even the right place. Where am I? Oh wait, no, it's over here. Never mind, I got it. I'm not, uh, Chad. I fucking remember it faster than any of you did. Give me a break. I looked away for thirty seconds. Are we un? Are we redoing? Why are we redoing the day? Well, the only reason you don't know that is because you also have your audio muted. Uh, because I audibly explained exactly what the fuck was going on. Uh, maybe it's time to re-enable both options. Audio lit. It's an unfolded piece of paper. It's addressed to Violet. Yo, Violet, is that you? No, that's Grace. Where the hell? <gasps> Which one of you is Violet? Cindy, where is it? Where's Violet? Is this what it's like to be a mailman? You constantly never know where anyone is? Ever? No one in this town lives in houses. They just wander the roads. Ooh. Another, another rune of power. Three more of those and we gained the special move. A couple, a couple more runes and we'll be able to summon the Dark Lord. Chat, get excited. It's only a couple more runes of power and we'll finally be ready. There's probably one behind the church. I would be baffled if there wasn't a rune of power behind the church that I could use. There's no rune of power behind the church.
There's probably one on the center tree. Nope. Where the hell's the dog? Where the hell's Violet? This is probably Violet. No, that's fucking Claire. Okay, I've officially gone through every single character in the game. Uh, I've, I've asked every single person who they are, and none of them have been Violet. Violet! Except the men. <laughs> dude! No fucking way, dude! Alright, I don't care! I don't care about Pat Patrice! Okay. No fucking way am I gonna walk up to one of the guys and his name's gonna be Violet. I just don't believe it. I mean, I would support someone if their name was Violet and they were a guy. That's fine, whatever. But in the context of this, I would be baffled. It's the 1950s, goddammit. It's the 19... Violet, is that you? No, that's Greg. Wait, Violet, of course. Well, it was about time. Yup. Enjoy. One whole box. I don't know what was in it. It didn't smell. I actually don't even remember the description. Oh, it was, just, it was just a fucking note that said, it's time. It's a circular stone with three symbols. What am I supposed to do with that? Hey, did you order a fucking stone? <laughs> did anyone order a, a stone? Did <laughs> Yo, you order a rune of power? Did anyone order a rune of power? Is that a- what the fuck is that? You got a bear trying to break into your fucking church? Have you ever heard about the tale of the spider and the fly? The spider was about to eat the fly, you see, and the fly begged very hard not to be eaten by the spider. But spiders, they don't have ears, so the fly got eaten anyways. Man, Pastor, you really have a way with words. This town- <laughs> this town's so lucky. Really fucking good story made me really happy. Taught me a lot. Yo, who here wants this rune of power? Nope. Nothing about a rune of power there. I guess I'll take this rune of power to the obelisk of death. In that cave. And try not to land in such a way that it kills me. Or gets me stuck. There's something about that dingy old shack. It's abandoned, but it still feels like there's something inside waiting. Let's just let's just take this to the to the hull. Ah, oh, fuck! I thought maybe the cat would be there. I got really excited. I got excited at the mere concept that I might be able to see that fun cat again. I blacked out. Yup, I blacked out. What the hell just fucking happened to me? Hey. Hey, why? How did I end up here? Hello? I don't like that. The town? What the? I'm locked in. Hey, you assholes! Violet! Violet, you... you better let me out of here right now! Oh. What the hell just happened? Fine, I'll let myself out. Can I handle this? Is that a ghoul? It's just a ghoul. That was a ghoul crawling on the ground. Yo, you guys better let me out. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's just like some kind of mailman prank. Is this what happened to all the other mailmen? You locked them inside the fucking... The park? And then a little fucking ghoul crawling on the ground? Fucking chased after them? Multiple ghouls, I might add. Multiple ghouls. There's like four to five ghouls in this fucking place. I see another one over there. If I cut my light and I hide, can I lose them? 
The answer is yes. But there's so many that the odds of me being able to do it for extended amounts of time... What the fuck kind of- is this a house? What do people live here? What's happening? What's going on, dude? Where's the keys? I keep finding these like little shacks. Is this like their home? What's the horror of this game? Just that there's like a bunch of goblins in the hill in like the hills. There's another key. <laughs> there's, just, there's just some goblins without legs in the hills. They're not doing anything. Oh, and the town's on fire. My room! Jesus! Literally, Jesus, I left my Jesus statue in there. That's my room. Yeah, second floor. So how the fuck am I gonna find all the keys in this, in this darkness? At least, at least we're all mutually blind. <laughs> at least every single one of us is awful at this. <laughs> oh my god, it's a goblin! Stop chasing me! Stop! No! I just need one more key and I can get out of this place. But where the hell am I gonna find one of those? Where in the hell am I gonna find another one of those keys? Don't you see? We're gonna be trapped in here forever because I'm gonna miss the one fucking item I need to leave. This is how these games get you. They chase you with the goblin. And then you can never find the way out because you'll always pass the spot you need to inspect. Because there's a goblin attacking you at the same time. I'm never gonna find the last key on account of the goblins. These guys are on me! Leave me alone. Where the hell's the last key? They're not very scary, these goblins. Uh, I'm not like, I'm not like scared of them. Ah! That was, that was to make them feel better. Like, uh, like in a kind of like, that was, that was pity fear. Okay, I've been here. Dude, I'm never finding the last key, dude. What is this? This is like, I'm just playing, I'm playing Slender. I'm playing Slender, but with like goblins. Instead of monster, instead of like the Slender Man, except these goblins are also slow. They're not much of a threat. There's another one. Hang on, maybe there's a key at this lamppost. No. Maybe if I follow this path, well, there's a goblin right there, blind, unable to see me. Dude. I I fear we may never find the exit. I may have to learn to live with these goblins. Chad, I know some of you don't want this to be the case, but we may have to live with these goblins. There might not be another choice for us. Oh, hang on, the game has it labeled. I just have to, I'd have to be alone at the sign long enough to read. Oh, I found it, Never mind. Okay, the goblins and I are officially done. I have to, I have to say officially as of now, I'm done hanging out with the goblins in their goblin cave, cage, the goblin cage. Calling it a cave is unfair. It's not one of those. Now I just have to find the exit and not have my brain blasted by any of the specters beyond the walls. I need to get out of this town. You guys all have a good day though. Wait, can I free the goblins? You guys wait here. Goblins! 
Goblins to me! To me, goblins! Where are they? I heard one. Uh, uh, goblin! Hey! Hey, you stupid little thing! Follow me! Come on. Come on, guys. We're leaving this place together! All of us! Come on, you can do it! T T Come on. He's, he doesn't know how to live in the outside anymore. These goblins don't know how to survive out here. He's so scared, I think he peed a little bit. <laughs> He's been in here for too long. Goodbye. He's institutionalized. They can't survive outside of their cage. Oh. Oh! A rune of power! Ah! Don't go near them. Don't go near those strange people. Well, uh, my hotel is, um... Don't think I'm gonna be getting my stuff. Unfortunately. Oh, another rune of power. How many more of these do you guys think I need before I've, like, won? Ah. No! <laughs> Laura's station wagon, whatever will we do? Can't go that way. Yeah, it looks like I'm leaving. Yeah, I guess it's it's a, it's truly as simple as that. Where's the dog? Well, we have two chance. There's two things. It could either A, be dead, or B, be a monster. Wait, I can't get to the fucking... I can't get to the, 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 the fucking cabin. It's blocked by ghouls. It's, it's blocked by, like, the fucking guys from, like, Super Hot. I can't get over there. I'm... All right, we're leaving then. All right, well, since no one's gonna stop me, uh, I'm going. It's probably all ah, it's probably all a dream, anyways. I'll probably wake up in the morning and proceed to deliver more mail. Ow! I thought. If the game ends right now and I truly died because lightning struck near me, like in my sight line, I'm going to refund this game. <laughs> I know, I, I, I won't, but I, I think about it just because conceptually I can't accept it. Wow, my head hurts. What's going on? Wait, is that the town? But I'm in the town, down here. What the hell? This can't be happening. I must have gone mad. I think I got hit by lightning. Are the goblins okay? Goblins! They're resealed. They locked themselves back in. Chat, you know, I just realized the locks are on the inside. Maybe the goblins put this wall up to keep out the us. And not keep in the them. Think about it. Use your head for once. So right now we're in the upside down. Uh, we're in a we're in a Silent Hill world by the looks of things. I can tell because when I looked at these windows over here, they were boarded up. And when I looked over here, this tree was replaced with new branches, which are very abnormal. And when I looked over here, the mailbox was empty. And when I look here, I can see the demonic message, which just says... Swoo? I wonder if the cat's okay. I wonder if the dog's okay. I wonder if anyone I knew from before was okay. It's just... That's a sound. 
picking up like static in there. Let's get inside the junkyard. We gotta check on that. Hello? Doug? What the fuck are you? What are you? What the fuck is that? The fuck is that? It's a pug. No, it's like a weird ass. It's like Baby Yoda. Hey! This human looks lost! <laughs> is that all you. Is that actually all you have to say to me? You freak? Oh, I'm starting to get the message of this game chat. Because if you listen carefully, the sound we're hearing is the sound of the devil. That's static. And it's coming from these, uh, these, these, like, big power lines. I think this is, I think this game is sending me a message about, like, 5G or something. I think it's, I think it's sending, it's, like, something about that. It's the sound of 5Gs. Well, evidently I'm not supposed to go that way because the devil man, the spooky baby, said not to. I don't want to go that way either. That way also seems bad. Let's keep following the perimeter and see if we can find anything, like, actually helpful. No, that's just the water. Uh, the bridge is out. But... My car's still here. Chad, my, my car's still here, but unfortunately the river is blood, and that means we're going to be set back. Uh, unfortunately, we really don't have many choices on where to go. The river's completely been replaced with blood. Uh, it's all blood rivers now, which is really unfortunate. Going to set us back. Uh, over here, we have nothing. Really hoping I'll turn the corner and see the fun cat and or dog soon. But so far, not looking likely. Looking like a lot of nothing out here. There's the cave with a spooky candle out in front of it. I'm going to check to see if I can find the cat still. Cat? Fuck. Who knows where the cat is, but they ain't here. And the dog's nowhere to be found either. I think I see multiple burning dead people over there, which I, I just don't really want to get involved in. In that. Thought I saw the dog for a second, but I was wrong. The fuck? The hell are they? Drugstore, of course. Open s Oh, it's been about drugs all along. Yep, open six six slash six. Eh. Eh. En. En. Nielsor. We got anyone named either uh, G R T E or En. En. Nielsor? That's uh. That's evil or like uh, it's French. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up! You guys get one thing that may be... What the fuck is that? Who's that? Yo. What the fuck are you? I'm not going in there. That must have been the... Dude! I think I'm being chased by uh, the devil. Did I lose him by going around a corner? I think I lost him by going around a... Yep. That was El Diablo right there. Oh, huh, another rune of power. Patrice! I can tell that's you! So, uh, I've got... Ah, uh, yeah, the room is evil. Well, this place is evil. Hello! Can I get inside? Nope! Did the music stop? No, it just ran out. Ah! Stop fucking following me! Ah! Stop it! 
We lost him. No, we didn't. <laughs> we lost him. No, we didn't. Nah, we lost him. It's as simple as that, baby. The old turn the corner trick. Simple as that, baby. Look, these demons have never dealt with having to chase anyone in hell before, so they don't have any practice. They lack environmental awareness. They aren't like me. I'm different. I'm better than them, more powerful, faster. I have a brain. My synapses are firing at a rate they can't, they can't possibly comprehend. I'm gonna go inside the tube and collect more runes of power. Well, that one's stupid which I just confirmed because it can't see me through this. I've taken its treasure, it doesn't, it just doesn't know. It's so dumb. Oh my God! Oh my God! The odds are high that I just lost it by turning this corner. I got out of there. What did I pick up? I picked up like an actual shadow rune. I think I got the seal of Orichalcos right there. I didn't actually look at it that hard, but that might have been the seal of Orichalcos. Was this a mistake? Where am I? I just see someone's ass over there. I feel so cold. Am I dead? Well, I went into a crypt, I think. Chills are running down my spine. I better not disturb that thing. Did you say so, man? What? Hey, chat! What's happening? <laughs> hey, chat! What's going on? This human comes to us from beyond the shroud. Has he met the giant, I wonder? No. Help me. No, I haven't. Ah, yep. Yeah. How'd they even do this must have taken a lot of work to pose this guy like this both legs on it and head That's just a that's just a guy Another guy Down this way we have um <laughs> The the monster from a scooby-doo episode uh Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ow! Wow, that- wow, they killed- they killed me quick! No. No fucking way does it change. If I go back to the fucking spot where the, the runes of power are, and I'm missing my runes of power... Oh wait, no, I still have them. I still have them. Yep, I still got them. Yeah, they're saved. They, they saved, they saved. Just kicked me out of the room. I'm just not in the room anymore. Okay. Like, if it's gonna make me go back and collect every single item, I will... Uh, I'll snap! Okay. I'll lose it! Oh my god, it's the ghoul! Yeah, it's called a ramp. Ever heard of it, stupid? Yeah, that's right. Alright. Hi. Hello. Think I can slip by this guy? He seems more he seems smarter than the others. Ah! Ow! Ah! No, the answer is no. <laughs> Cause there's just random dead ends. Hang on, let me try it again. Let me try this again, but this time I'm gonna use my head. I'm gonna use my head. 
Hey, at least my character takes a realistic amount of damage before he dies, which is to say, I feel like pretty comfortable in the fact that I could take exactly two hits from most monsters, right? I think most people are the same. Where like, I can say very confidently, I could take a hit from this guy, but if I took a second one, I'm dead. Take one swing. And I beat him. Yep, I lost him. I actually lost him doing that. Now I just have to get back out. But how? Where even is he? Oh. Oh fuck, this is the dead end side. Fuck! I get on that side. <laughs> wow, that was that was really easy. Okay, uh, where's the where's the crypt again? Oh, it reset me getting these seals. So I have the I have the notes still, but I'm missing the seals. Wait, I hear one of them. That's yeah, that's a that's a that's a straight up ghoul. Do you think I have enough of these things to activate the door? Like I, I've played, co I've collected enough, right? Surely the door, the door must open now. Ooh. Oh yeah. Dash by this ghoul and we got it. Nope. Nope. No, it, do it doesn't open. It, it doesn't. Ow, stop. Stop, you old, you fucking freak! No. Go on. Yeah. Back where you came from. I guess I need more. Maybe like two more. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can do it. I, I can do it. All right, dude, I'm, I know I can't, unless I missed them. Oh yeah, I forgot there's an alien that lurks, or there's like an actual straight up alien that lurks around this place. Oh. He's blocking the fucking exit, the fucking guy. All right, I beat him. <laughs> All right. I, I reckon the next place to go isn't actually in here. Uh, it's or in here. It would be the cave. I'm guessing there's multiple endings to this game. Uh, God, no, I, I can tell you for certain I won't understand what any of them mean. But I'm guessing there's multiple endings. Uh, I'm going to check the cave next. God knows uh, I'm not going to get it. I'm telling you now, I won't, I won't get it. Why is there a crit? Why is there one of the why is she, she know how to get? She knows how to get in there. I have a point. 25, 32, hike. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, dude. I know what I'm fucking doing. I literally knew. I got it. A mile away, I understood. There's even like extra secret ways to go. Where, where, where's the ghoul now? This is a dead end. Where's, where's the ghoul though? There they are. Uh, do I, can I just go to the center of town now and like leave? Am I allowed? Uh, it looks like the seal has been broken. I can leave whenever I so choose now. Is that something I desire? Yeah, yes, yes, I think, I think yes. I mean, I'm inside the church. Blood bowl material right there. I know I'm fucking, I'm popping off. This place makes my hair stand on end.
Canonically, my character is not bald. Write it down now. Ah, yes, I see more, uh... More ghosts. Demon. Demon. Stop it! Ow! You will regret the day you struck me. Ow! Stop that! Okay, it seems like once you get caught, you're just dead. What? Wait, how am I here? But how am I... I... So if you die, do you get sent here? Oh no, I'm in like super hell now. I'm in double hell. Did I willingly go into double hell last time? Excuse me. Oh no, oh no. Oh no, no, oh no. That was a hole. But now I'm, but now I'm, <laughs> but now I'm back here again. Ah, uh, now it makes sense. Now, of course, we can go this way, go around the girl, die, wake back up in super hell, and... What? <laughs> what? What's... What just happened? Oh, it all makes sense now. No, I get it. Look, that's the other side. These places are one and the same. If you can manage to get over to the spooky, it looks like, what does this look like? It looks like it's missing its head. If you can find the, the head of the skin wall, you can open up the way to the other zone I was already in, chat. Have to, we just have to, we just have to find it. Past all these obnoxious uh, beings. How easy is it to lose these masters? It doesn't seem like easy at all. It seems like sort of, sort of hard. I actually, okay, all, all, all right, all right, okay. Stop! It's banging those fucking drums, just. I think I ran in, I think I just like elected to go in the same circle again. I'm trapped in a loop, I gotta go this way. I gotta go straight. Yep. Oh. Okay. Now we just bring this head back over that way. This is all very simple stuff. You really, you really just have to understand that I've got this map memorized. Yep. Which opens up this hat. They're like this zone here, which doesn't lead to where I thought. Why? What, what am I? What's going on? What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> fuck it. You, you know, you, the trick of that, the trick of that spooky trick is that you don't make loud stepping sounds. Like it's not, it's not as scary if I can hear you pitter patter as you run. Green light, red light! Green light, red light! What? <laughs> Ow! You f piece of fucking shit! <laughs> All right, this game was worth it just for like the, the the goofiest execution of the classic camera monster. It's so it's so goofy. Plus, it works like through walls, so it's like there's truly nothing stopping me from watching it the whole way. 
Which means now I can like look away from it and just listen as it approaches me for like the next like fucking 30 seconds. <laughs> what? God? Bud, you can't do that. That's a wall now. <laughs> Dude, you gotta like... You gotta play by the rules. You gotta, you gotta play by the rules. I don't care, I don't care what game we're playing. You gotta follow the rules. Go back to the other scene. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm in a new sequence. You, you can't. Better not attack me. Okay, asshole. All right, fine. I guess I don't get to look at where I'm going when I do this. Fine. No, I bet I cannot run you. I, wait. Ow! I can almost outrun him. I have a pretty good amount of time before he, they catch me. <laughs> Stop! Dude, I can't fucking actually do the lore while you're here. I literally can't. I have to look at it. <laughs> you asshole. Are you fucking kidding me? I truly can't. I can't. <laughs> Alright, I have an idea. I got an idea. Come over here, please. A little further. Okay, thanks. It's locked. The key's gotta be here somewhere. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. It's gotta be here somewhere, Jack. <laughs> As we stay angled like this, the ghoul can't. Oh, there it is. Where's that little guy? Ah, oh, there he is, dude. There's the little guy. There's the little guy peeking his head out. Hey, stay right where I told you. All right. Hey. Say. Don't follow me again. The conclusive victory. I like it when my horror games end with a chapter like that because it makes it helps me understand that I got the good ending. <laughs> the uh, impo impossible to dispute win. Huge victory all around for the gamer. I better get the ending then. If it's a conclusive victory, it better be clear. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I knew you were evil. You're going to tell me, like, a bad story about, like, a fly in the spider? At last, our final guest has arrived. Wipe that southern look off your face. You'll be taking part in something grand. Excuse me, sir. I've been promised a conclusive victory over the evil. Why, you... Well, the cruelly delightful truth is simply that you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Wow, this game's plot is really, really just... There is no happy ending for you, my son. Wow, I'm glad that... Uh, hey, most of the time, fucking horror games like, Why you? Ah, well, let me explain. 30 minutes of fucking exposition later. This one's just like, Why you? Because you're the protagonist of the video game. Da doi, bozo. Good doesn't prevail in this story. Evil has you and all this community instead in its crooked hands. You mean like yours? Witness the conclusive victory of the Dark Ones! Uh, uh. Oh, it was the Dark Ones' conclusive victory. So what's the story here? All the locals were found dead yesterday morning by a man from St. Marion. They were locked up in the church. Cause of death? We do I don't fucking know. Probably like horror game stuff. Most of them don't show any signs of struggle or physical injuries. Forensics uh, thinks it might have been. I, just, I missed it. Who knows? Most of them? There is a body with a skull crushed 
And another one is split in two. There's a large blood puddles leading outside the church. We think it might have been a large animal or something. You think a bear might have deboned a guy? That would explain the marks on the front door. I'm still looking for a motive, but I have a feeling there's something wrong with this case. I don't like it. I got the bad ending. But you said conclusive victory, dude! Dude! Come on, man! You fucking promised! You fucking promised, dude! I got fucking deceived. <laughs> Conclusive victory for the dev. DM wins this time, dude. Sorry, dude. Next time you gotta try harder. DM wins. All right, next next game. Next fucking game. Let's take a look here. What have I? What have I got? Uh, what do I got? Uh, oh, I know. Uh, there's been, there's been some updates to this game, so I figured we might as well do it. Uh, because I don't really think it's worth doing a full stream on, but I do want to check out the new, try to get to some of the new stuff. Uh, the Skinwalker Hunt game. Remember that game from a while back? They've had, like, updates to it. So I want to get, like, uh... I'll give another look. Yeah. Uh -huh. They've had like updates. Hang on, I gotta make sure it's like actually full screen. Oh, stop fucking being so loud. Jesus. All right. This game has received updates, including new maps and an update to the Chernobyl map, which is the one we have to do first to unlock the new map. So, we can unlock Herlant Castle after we've done Chernobyl Forest. You guys know the drill on this kind of game. Alright. There are clear signs of a skinwalker presence in this area. They call it differently in this part of the world, but I'm sure we're dealing with skinwalker. I called the police. They didn't buy it. So now I'm here to hunt it down. It's just like Stalker, dude. Except instead of it being like, you know, a, a, a fucking ghoul or like a bloodsucker, it's a skinwalker. Same difference, though, honestly. Rifle ammo loaded. How big of a map are we working with? What do we got? Skinwalker, obviously healthy. Backpack. My notes. In a territory that got corrupted by Skinwalker presence, most animals become hostile and might pose a serious threat. Only dogs aren't negatively affected by Skinwalker presence. In fact, they can lead you to it. Another serious threat that I might encounter are hostile Skinwalker worshippers. At this point, I'm not even sure they're entirely human. I also have my headlamp, my trusty tomahawk, my hunting rifle, my Geiger counter, my flares, my psychic powers, my adrenaline, my bear traps, my med kits, my raw meat, my rifle bullets, and my map, and my snacks. Right. It's hard to heal in this place, so this time around we have an ambulance that I've parked. I stole an ambulance from the local... from the local civilization and I parked it on the border of the Chernobyl exclusion zone so that I could heal myself lest the worst happens now Chad I don't know if you remember from the last time you played this but skinwalkers are rascals they're real pieces of shit the 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 tricksters they're they're monstrous demons and they they love Running right at you in a straight line, last I recall. And I love making the sounds of other animals to lure you into a false sense of security.
That's also a skinwalker. Any one of those. They also love stealing the seats out of cars. Don't go near that. You'll get you'll get Geiger poisoning. This place might be a good place to camp tonight. Peeled. Never know when you might look in a direction and just see a skinwalker running right at you completely naked. They're wily, those things. Keep, keep on your toes. Of course, that is the border of the map, so the odds are low that the skinwalker is going to be that way. They like to stick to their territory. Yep, looks like this will be home base. Open air. Place to cook food. Pot, mound of garbage to sleep on. Good sight lines. This is where we'll make camp for tonight. Get comfortable. This town, we're gonna secure it. How was that sound? How's that? Is that an evil dog or a good that wolves and dogs are different. Hang on. If it lunges at me, it's bad. Excuse me. Oh yep, that's an evil dog. They're evil! They're evil! They're evil! They're evil! Ah! Thank God my adrenaline kicked in. Woo! Those were bad dogs. You can tell because they attacked me. I have to go to the hospital. I'm dying. Thank God I stole an ambulance out this way that's parked, full of medical supplies, so that I could heal whenever I need to. My job is really important, so I know the local hospitals won't mind. We're fine. I mean, what's this? <laughs> the foot tracks say it goes that way, but everyone knows that Wendigos walk backwards. The skinwalker must have gone that way. He's gotta be somewhere over there. We'll get him yet. Don't you worry. Hang on, I see another track. Oh yeah. It all adds up now. Warning shot is all we need. <laughs> There's a dog over here. That's a real good dog. Hang on, I'm just, before I do this, I just wanna find the fucking ambulance. I need to heal. I'm, I'm, I'm injured. I don't wanna use a med kit. fucking go. Look, this dog's friendly, I can tell, because the skinwalker is that way. The dog will lead me to the skinwalker. After I stop at my ambulance. Let me just, dog, just... Just stop for a minute. I gotta heal. Feeling well? Alright. Let's ride. Now the question is... I probably want a hunter's totem here. By the ambulance. Just in case. Now... We can save our game. God, dead birds everywhere. What happened to the dog? They were barking and then they stopped barking. A fucking a literal bear? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm not playing. Highly radioactive bear at that. Oh, yeah.
Skinwalkers gotta be close. They love the sound of bullets being fired. What I tell you? They also love walking on streets. It's comfortable for their feet. They're probably going to approach from the road. Why I want to cut my flashlight, not throw a fucking flare down, but whatever. Skinwalkers a distance from here, I could hear it. Let's get in position. Watch out for fucking anomalies. They're all over these streets. Pick you up and explode you into pieces. I think that might be their car. Oh yeah. We're close. Skinwalker! Come here! Hey! Did you hear that? That <clears throat> sound? That was them. That was them, chat. What the hell is that? Right there by the car. Big is this map? Big. We're almost to the point where I want to plant another hunter totem. The roads seem like good places to have them. It's right on top of us, I heard it. Everyone shut up. the way this fucking thing stinks like death. Normally I'd borrow one of those gas masks, but I don't want it. It's uncomfortable to wear. a good feeling the skinwalkers right on top of me but where ah! <laughs> little bitch you know how good I am in this fucking game come back here right now when you go on it's all straight planes out here you bastard nowhere to run He's serpentining. He's already scared. All right, let me make something clear. He's not hunting us. We're hunting him, Chet. He ain't the hunter. We are. <laughs> we hold the power. Let's place a bear trap here on the road. Yeah, shut up. Game's like, oh, put it down outside the fucking totem zones. I'm just like, dude, this skinwalker has no idea how fucked he is. This is perfect me hunting zones. It's all the perfect sight lines we need. See where it is at all times. Whenever it approaches us, it's already dead. This doesn't realize it yet. Let's check this town. Might be something of value out here for us. That dog is probably dead. Which is unfortunate. Nothing. Oh yeah, it's gone. We'll avenge him. Oh yeah. We'll avenge him, all right. Puts on tactical vest. Loads magazine. Ah! Jesus Christ! Bad! Bad dog! Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'll take health regeneration, thank you.
You see, the Skinwalker senses vulnerability. If it was going to attack, it would attack me now. Probably approach by the street. Good news, it. I fucking really hate that that's my flare button. <laughs> I, I want to change it almost. I was gonna like turn off the light and like stare the way he was gonna come, but I guess I won't now. How's my how's my coverage? Pretty good. I'm gonna head inland this way. The skinwalker should be behind me, but I mean hunting it any way out here is perfect because it's. Place is so open. It'd really be stupid of it to come after me out here. But with how open this place is. Is that a fucking bear? It's a bear. Stop that! Stop! Hey, stop! Keep moving. <laughs> Chad, I need the meat and the XP so I can regenerate faster my health so I can be even more powerful. I'm not sure what the problem is here. If something doesn't want to be attacked by me, it shouldn't make fucking sounds, okay? Like, that's really its own... its own fault at this point. If something makes a sound, I shoot to kill. Am I hearing an actual anomaly? Chat? Why am I hearing... Wait a minute. Skinwalker tracks going that way. And that means it's probably gonna come from... Oh my god, the double switcheroo move. After it. After it now. Somewhere. What the fuck is your problem? Are you fucking dumb? Stupid. Oh, is that a boar? That's a fucking boar. That's a boar. There's a, there's a fucking boar attacking me now, too. Which means next to Skidwalker is going to crest the hill and be like, Ming! and like, get me too. over this way. Free bear trap. Look. It's the middle of the day-ish. And we're in a detection zone. This guy would be a fool to attack us right now. He'd be a fool. I'd know exactly where he's coming from. He, he'd have to be a complete buffoon. Is there a fucking literal ghost over there? What's it, what is that? Yeah, it's a ghost, man. Is that good or a bad thing? I can't fucking remember if ghosts are cool or not. Let me check my notes. Yeah, I've got nothing here on that the ghost is cool. It's... I'm gonna shoot it. It's still alive. Uh-uh. Don't you fucking do it. Okay, where the hell is this skinwalker hiding? Where the... 
What the hell? I see an ammo box somewhere in the... Dude. I will legit cut you up with a tomahawk. Actually, it actually gave me an infection. I need to go back to this fucking ambulance. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, dude. I don't understand why I did that. You see, right now, when I'm at my most vulnerable, that's when the skinwalker would normally attack. In moments like these, when you're at your lowest, that's when the skinwalker will take advantage of the situation and come get you. That's exactly what we're trying to replicate, is a moment of extreme weakness, so that the skinwalker will feel compelled to approach me, an apex predator. Matter of fact, I think I hear him over there. Is that a cat? Is that a fucking cat? That's a fucking cat. That's a goddamn cat. Oh wait, no, it's a dead dog. That dog. It looked like a cat sideways. It looked like a cat like just sitting there for a minute, didn't it? You know I'm right. Guess I'll stop here for Emma while I'm here. It's not like the It's not like the skinwalker would hang out in a town. Right? Wait, what? Hang on, I'm picking something up. I'm picking up something on my skinwalker radar. It's right over there. Dude, really? I need to be stealthy! Why? Why are there thousand? When there's one animal, there's 30. Dude. When there's one animal, there's 30 of them. Every time. You can't, you can't. This is pre-skinwalker damage. That's fine. That's fine. Because last time this happened, I wasn't ready for the skinwalker to charge me. One no scope. No, come back. Two hits. He's zigzagging. He's swerving. He's he's running as fast as he can from me this time. He's so scared. He's so scared. Fine, this time I'll just do even better. He's so fast, but I remember vividly the way that you beat him is you just become a relentless psychopath. So I'm just gonna be relentless and chase after him in the direction I think he went. And once I get some good distance, I'm just gonna yoink. Place a bear trap. Because he'll inevitably be like, mm, I'm also kind of hungry. Probably in these fucking fields. These horrible fields. This like absolute shithole. Oh yeah, you know he's out of here. You know this little freak is out here and he's got it. Is that a freak? shooting like a cultist and he doesn't know where I am. He's trying to run. After that guy! After that freak! Oh, hang on. Well, well, well. Bad day to be a fucking weirdo cultist in the woods. Where'd you go, you old weirdo? He ran. Just like the skinwalker he follows. He scurried off. 
Looks like we've just upgraded from hunting monsters to hunting people, Jared. The true most dangerous game. Where the hell did that guy go? You gotta be somewhere around. Something activated the fucking birds over there. That weirdo go. <laughs> well, I'm waiting. Now. I know you're gonna come to me. There's a cow over there that's angry about something. I just don't have time for that, poor. The fucking skinwalker pissed off. Son of a bitch. Every time, every time, every time, every time, every time. Where's all the meat? It's so hard to like see the bodies, you know? I don't even see where the boars are. I killed two and I can't even find one of their corpses in the, in like the grass. Oh, hey! Where are you going? Oh. Bang! Bang! Yeah, you made a big mistake running at me, asshole! Oh. How much more of this you got on you, man? Damn, that guy went down fast. Once I, uh, once I do the last one there. Increased my maximum health. Yeah, it's very good. Very good indeed. Back to the task at hand. Kill the dogs over here. Where's like the normal dog? You know what I mean? Whoa! He has a jump now! That's new! That's new! That's new! That's uh, new! No, the gun's not loaded! I fucked up. I fucked up. He. That fucking actually full on threw me off that he leaped at me like that. I didn't even save my game last time I was at a fucking totem because I was so convinced I would never be thrown off. I wasn't expecting him to leap into the room. God damn it, I look like a moron. Well, you see, this time, I can maximize my damage even harder by doing one simple trick. Standing on this incredibly fucking dangerous, uh, radioactive oh. car. Oh. 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 It's fine. I have an ambulance I parked nearby. Okay, the guy left. <sighs> I was so radioactive that the skinwalker decided... <laughs> Dude, come on, man! I need to load my gun properly from now on. I can't look like a fool again. Like, I looked like a real fool back there. Jet. We're just gonna go to the- we're gonna go to the ambulance. Hello? 
pathetic. We're gonna go to the ambulance. <laughs> Fuck away from you. Fool! Bang! <laughs> you thought your board could help you? No, no. Where are you running? Literally terrified. Is that a ghost? Dude, I gotta go this way. I think I'll just see. I. Okay, hey, that fucking crow sitting on my spot. Can't shoot it. Reloaded. I'm sorry. I, I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I'm baffled. I hit him first. I hit him first, dude. I hit him first, dude. Dude, I don't know, dude. I don't. That's it. They've activated my gamer senses. <laughs> Fucking. A shit serpentine motherfucker! <laughs> Fucking goblin tear piece of shit actually serpentining me. I thought he was a monster, not like a well, like an actual thinking being. He's actually serpentining my crosshair. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> Doctor. Oh, he's. Wait, at my fucking ambulance. I'm like... <laughs> fucking bears attacking me now, dude! Can't do anything right! The fuck away from me! God! Jesus Christ! My Jesus! Someone! Nurse! Anyone! I just gotta get to the ambulance, man! Simple as that, man! You know the skinwalker's running right at me. But, like... At a slight tr at a slight shift in trajectory, lose their POV. Oh yeah. I don't plan on dying again. Let me be clear. He's right ahead on the road. The thing that that. Ping isn't a hundred percent accurate. I know that for a fact. For the last time it pinged, he was on me like over here. I gotta get in there though. I need to get in there. There's a ghost. Here, which makes this part a lot harder. I'm gonna push past him. See him. No, oh, that's just a bear. Or I guess a hog. God, this game's still fun though, is the thing. It's like, it's somewhat simple, but it's actually a very fun, like, hunting game because the uh, Skinwalker actually feels like relatively <laughs> adequate at evading you. <laughs> Fucking actually the bird attacked me. Like, a like really the bird attacked me. I, I didn't, I, I shot at it ages ago and I was like, hee hee. The bird actually fucking gored me. This is the only place that feels safe. This is the only car I can actually safely climb on. I need to save while I'm here. Wait a minute. Why are you decoding? That was a fucking wolf chat. It's not the dog. Trust me. 
See? See? Evil. See? Actually evil. And there it goes. Back into the fucking distance. Now I have to go back into the ambulance and they're gonna be like, you're back again? And I'll be like, I didn't even take two steps out of the fucking- You heard me out the goddamn window being attacked. Fuck you. All right. I know where I'm gonna go next, chat. Possibly the best setup we could do right now. This That's not part of it. I saw something inland, a tower. A place the fucking skinwalker can't climb. We're gonna go up there. We're gonna do what's gotta get done. Set up a totem up there. It'll tell us if it's anywhere nearby. And we can find it. We'll be able to see it up the tower. Unless the game does some bullshit, like say we can't climb it. But looking at the outside, it seems that we can. It does feel like I'm due getting attacked by the skinwalker. No! No! This madness has to end! No skinwalkers climbing up here to get me. I know, I know one thing. Nothing's gonna be getting me up here. This is a safe zone for me. Rifle silencer? A muzzle device that reduces the loudness of a gunshot. Silencer reduces distance from which enemies can hear your gunshot by two times. Is that good for me though? Or is that actually bad? We're gonna put our totem right here. You need flat ground for that. Fuck you. Maybe I'll be able to see him. He's coming this way. That or it's a dog that just activated that. Sounds or activate. Disgusting skinwalker somewhere in these woods. This is the life. An impenetrable fortress, completely isolated by nature, yet taking constant pot shots at nature, like a true hunter. <laughs> Nothing like punching down at animals that literally can't comprehend how you're killing them. This is truly the way, this is the American way. I, this brings a goddamn tear to my eye. Humans win again. Next time, evolve faster, you stupid animals! I'm actually fine. I just wanted to come down here quickly so I could plant my totem. No, plant it, please. The skinwalker's gonna be here any second now to punish me. <laughs> Save! Increase the radius. I don't have enough health yet. The wolves. 
They'll come to a next. And you know what I actually need to do? I need to make a run into. I need to make a run over there to get more ammo. All right, chat, ammo run. Let's go. Let's pick up some ammo, load up, and then we're gonna go back to the tower and keep pot shotting at random animals to level up my hunting skills so I can kill the skinwalker one day. See, this whole part of the map is secure as hell. No one's gonna come at me this way. This whole path is a secure fortress. The flower dearest. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Very kind of you, thank you. Real, real kind. I'm checking the RNG. Ah, another super rare cutoff. Wow, dude. Unbelievable, dude! Twice in a row! The hell's that? Another dead dog. Awful lot of dead dogs. Not a lot of alive dogs. I'm gonna start, like, crying when I see a real normal dog in this level, because I saw one and then it ran off. Alright, where do we keep all the ammo? Is that literally the Skinwalker? I saw it. I swear I fucking saw it. I saw it, dude. It was right here, man. It was right here. Standing in its very spot. That was an accident. It's fine. We have infinite ammo from this room here in this box. I'm locked and loaded, ready to kill. Yeah, I do need to bring, matter of fact, yes, I do need to bring two giant crates of ammo every time I go hunting. What if, what if the raccoon ran too fast and I used all of it? Hang on. I think I sense a vicious animal in the distance. Lucky bastard, there's a maxim- that's not a real enemy that you can hit, obviously that's what it is. You can't hit that thing, it's uh... It's in the air. To the tower! Hang on, how many more totems do I have? One more. Um, I don't really want to spend my last totem over here at the gun section. Where the fuck is this freak? Tell you what I'll plant here is a fucking trap. Where the hell is this freak? It's real quiet on the side of the map. Maybe I scared it into going to the fucking west. Maybe it realized that I was the king of this realm now. Radiated as I am, I'm still an incredibly powerful force to be re reckoned with. I suppose we'll head inland, past the tower. Ghoul. That's a ghoul. Don't go near ghosts. If you see a ghost in the wild, leave it alone. Don't talk to them. There's that. Beat. Pete. Hang on, there might be something in this town I can scavenge. By the tower. Most of this place is probably all radiated. Probably not very good to be around. Every car I see is radiated to all hell. See, what is nice is it seems like the sun never sets in Chernobyl. Hello? Ah! 
Jesus Christ! Help! Help! Who? Bro! Who are you? Bro? 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 He pulled me. He did something to push me. He did something to like push me around. He's pulling me. He's using force pull. He used force pull to pull me. <laughs> we gotta get to the tower. He's using jump moves. He's like a Jedi. Or Sith, more like. Okay, wait, he's not. Hang on, wait. Hold up. Hang on. Ow, fucking asshole. Stop. Hey, stop it now. I gotta get to the tower, he's too strong! <laughs> oh, Jesus, thanks for following me. Help! Wait. He's, he's trying to force pull me out of the tower. He failed. You leaving? Help! Skinwalker's nearby. Dude, I just don't have time for you. Bro, I just don't have time for you! This fucking guy. Dude! My screen! My screen, God! You're lucky I don't have my shotgun anymore, you'd be so fucked! Dude! That's it, man! Hang on, I gotta reload. He's just scampering by the door, he's running both ways, he's scaring me! <gasps> Use force pull! Stop! Ah! That's it. That's it. Where the fuck did he just go? That's it. I'm going back upstairs. <gasps> He's trying to push me off the top. He's trying to push. He's throwing me all around, Chad. You think you won this fight? Oh, you, you bastard! I fucking see you, you piece of shit. He's trying to run, but he has no idea there's nowhere to run. I'm a sniper. Bang! Unless you get behind a tree. He's back out of the trees. Bang! Reloading. And... You lost me. You lost me. No, wait. And he lost me again. Wait. Yup. Isn't the Skidwalker can get up here? Skidwalker's loitering and actually, I think, harassing the ambulance people, which is not good. Like, I think I gotta deal with that. I think the skinwalker is actually harassing the people, the nice doctors in the ambulance that healed me. I think I need to go stop them from doing that. I think he's like pushing the car around. I just saved my game. Dude, are you fucking kidding me? Bro! Yo, dude! Just fucking stop! It's over. The dark power is defeated. We gotta get out of here. The skinwalker's harassing the ambulance. We have to move. He waited for me to come downstairs. We have to move. The skinwalker's attacking the ambulance. With the help of a ghost. What the fuck is that? What is that?
Keep your eyes peeled, Chet. We're in Skinwalker realm now. Ignore that, that's normal. Also normal. That's a fence. He's gone. He had to run around it. He fucked up. 1,000 bits for the entertainment. Thank you. No, thank you. For the, for the money. This will be our new. This will be where we rest at night. Oh, gun cleaning kit. Clean guns have a zero percent misfire chance, but I didn't need to. I didn't want to clean my gun. This this rifle doesn't really misfire. Well, now it'll never misfire. I guess. Get the fuck out of here! What the fuck are you thinking? I heard a snake too. I hate the snake, man. Hang on. Yeah, I'd like the ability to reload faster. Horrible beast. Yeah, this, uh, this tower doesn't have very good sight lines. See, the thing is, with uh, me and, like, the silencer, is that I'm, like, kind of in the boat of, like, I want the enemies to hear me. I want them to come try. You know what I mean? Because if I don't, if they don't come and see me, like, and hear me and run towards me, then they're going to come see and hear me and get me, like, while I'm doing other stuff, and I'll be doubly shocked. So them all barreling towards me at the same time is at least, like, somewhat more predictable. Never gonna be able to pull it off twice, asshole. All right? Never gonna be able to pull that one off twice. Why are you decoding me? Oh, what? Wait, is this galaxy brand? Hang on. Increase sense radius. And now I just heal. I, if I could have increased it more, it would seem more OP. But, yeah, no, increase... Increase the sensor radius. Might as well. I guess I'm going to keep pushing through to explore the rest of the map now. Where did I get the shotgun? I think it was, like, farther down the road? I need to stop for, like... Ammo at the ammo town. Why is there just a ghost? Uh, because this place is haunted. Like, why why would there be a ghost anywhere? Because it's haunted. Like, uh Duh. You know, uh it's ra it's irradiated and haunted. That's the two words that's the worst combination. How many more? Okay, I have one more. I have one more sensor. To get to the other side of the map and plant it there. Nothing's taking the bait on that trap. Unsurprised at all. Fill up on ammo and let's get out of there. We are going to go here and then head on that way. So we're going to go due southwest. If the skinwalker knows any better, all right, he'll come try to stop me before I pick up all the most powerful items in the map and become a god. But so far, the only things that are trying to stop me are ghosts. Uh mostly just been ghosts trying to hurt me 
and rattlesnakes. Apparently there's rattlesnakes in Ukraine. Ah. Uh, I mean, there might be. I actually don't know. Wasn't the shotgun, like, here? Where did I get the shotgun? Oh. A bear trap. The radiation gave snakes rattles. Ah, uh, yes. That all makes perfect sense now. Oh. Fuck you! I got him. They thought they were gonna get away with it. Cute. That was cute of them. Never twice. I hate all animals equally. When it rains, it fucking pours, dude. I'm putting back on the silencer. <laughs> I put down a big pile of meat. It's coming for the meat. Wait, really? It's... It's coming for the meat? What's it? The skinwalker? Well, I've got a big valley here. And I've got sensors, so, uh... If it, 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 it can try, you know what I mean? It can fucking try. Guys, it's trying. Guys! Gotcha, idiot. Oh, did you want that meat? Fucking asshole. Nice fucking zigzag, pussy. There goes my hero. Looks like this meat's mine. Oh, it's over. It doesn't care about it. It doesn't want it anymore. It's decided it's done. I need to eat it, but at the same time, I don't want to. I pick up the tactical vest. This skinwalker thinks it's gonna beat me. It's wrong. What the fuck was that? Is that a fucking warthog? It's gonna kill me. Ooh, better luck next time, pussy! Dude, two for two, bitch! You got third brother you want to send in? Okay. Yeah, I don't have a med kit. <laughs> we heal on. We heal naturally. Currently. But that's okay. We're gonna get out to like the middle and then we're gonna put down the next sensor and we'll just treat half the map as no man's land where no one looks for uh, skinwalkers. Ever. Oh look, a skinwalker. <laughs> yeah, it's right. It's right, you fucking idiot. He cross in the street? He's so scared, he ran like around me. He's like way out there. 
Nah, he's like there. He wouldn't have come back this way after I shot him. I hear him. Nope, he's at the ambulance. So I heard something else over here. I don't know what, but there's something over here that sucks. I wish I had more health. I don't really want to run all the way back up to the ambulance yet. I want to plant the uh, totem. Look, we're going to be all right. Let's get to this spot. Plant the totem. Save the game. Guns loaded. Something would have to lunge at me at full power to stop me. Okay. Skinwalker's still way out there. Uh, I just want to make it to this spot. Please. Please. Here's good enough. Safe! Safe! Yes, yeah, right. It's right. Yeah, you're not gonna stop me. Why do I feel like one of those weirdos hangs out in this area? You know. You know what I mean. One of the weirdos. It feels likely. Uh, it feels like a place they might linger. I know one hangs out in the, like, lake zone. What are we here? Something in there is dead. Another fucking hog. Dead. By my hands. Two more. They always come in pairs. You know, that's the thing with them. I guess I should be eating more food, huh? It does heal me. Is that another hog? I think I also see a human over there. I think that's another human. That's another strange man. There he goes. There he goes. Wait, here he comes. What's this guy fucking doing? Is he running around me? Bud? He's not, he's, he's doing some kind of weird maneuver. I, I don't understand why he's circling me like a shark. I don't have the health for this. <laughs> fucking, why does my guy, is my guy dumb? Why would he like fucking push the bolt all the way forward again? Just because, like when he has to reload. <clears throat> Dude, stop it. Do that again, you're gonna piss me the fuck off. Oh, the dogs. Keep my eyes on. They always dart at me at a certain point. Whoa, dude, did you see that fucking dodge? He's running again. Whoa! He fucking totally bamboozled me the second I went into my fucking inventory, went for it. This guy's fucking smart as hell. I'm gonna run out of fucking ammo at this point. Hang on, rotation play. This guy doesn't know how to close in on this one, dude. The old strife. You know, I feel like the skinwalker would fucking attack me while I'm doing this. God damn it, dude. If I fucking miss with the hit fire, it's so bad. Dude, come on, bro!
I need to focus hard. You pulled me. God, bro, it's like statistically unbelievable at a certain point that I'm missing these hip fires. Woo! Well, I don't really have the amount of the bullets required to kill this guy, unfortunately, now. Those worshippers don't fuck around. Uh, maximum stamina level will no longer receive any penalty. It's increased by 15%. I'd rather just be able to find the skinwalkers better. I need to save. Now that the evil is defeated. Alright, we only have one bullet now. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth it. We'll, we'll find bullets. We'll find bullets out there. In the wild. It only takes one to scare an enemy. We'll just use a- we'll use the hatchet until we find bullets. Dog. Real dog. I hear him. Hey. Last I remember, last time I played, a chance you could be a Wendigo. Look, I don't really want to hunt the boss right now. So, um, I'll leave you to your thing. But I'm going this way. I gotta find ammo. Skinwalk is probably tailing me itself now, now that it knows I'm running out of ammo. The hunters become the hunted. You probably sense it. It's probably right on top of me right now, even. Meanwhile, I'm getting constant ghost updates on my map. Need a fucking shotgun. Horrible beast. Was that one of them? Was that a fucking... No, no, no. We're in the wildlands. No one to help us. Nothing to help us. We gotta get back to the tower. The only chance we have. Alright, we're going due north. Due north to the tower. One bullet. that fuck it's a pack of hogs <laughs> always knew it would end like this <laughs> for you oh maybe that was enough to shift the dynamic maybe it won't attack now Good. Keep going north. Although this looks like the road goes this way. There might be something we can loot. Would the hog dare attack twice? Oh! Oh! We ride! This log cabin should have everything we need to rearm. All right. I thought that was dynamite. There, in fact, wasn't anything I technically needed to rearm. Not one thing. But that's what continuing north is for. Oh, my guy, I just can't do this right now, but.
I'm faster than him. In a ground run, I have the advantage. I played college ball, you know. I'm so fast on my feet. The one that goes that way. So is my tower. It might be, looking at the map, it's gonna be between me and my destination. One shot's all I have to get it out of the way. No, never mind. I don't have a shot. I spent it. I forgot. One tomahawk is all I have. This fucking guy actually will chase me across the entirety of the Chernobyl exclusion zone if it means having my blood. Dude, stop. Tower! Look! Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> it hit the trap by the ammo! Good. That's where we're going. Save game. We keep running. Looks like we're all going to the same place. Who knows where that fucking worshiper is now? So I have to get by the skinwalker to pick up ammo. I have to get by it. That doesn't seem that hard. I can do this. Oh my god, it's flanking me. Oh. 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 Skip the blood. I was convinced the fucking skinwalker was right in front of me and I was gonna have a badass class right here. Is this fucking guy still after me? After the entire map, he chased me seven kilometers. Who is this guy? God fucking damn it, dude, get a life. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. He's gonna end up fucking killing me, is the worst part. Gotta fucking strafe jump him. Yup. Yep. Really cool bolt action gun. It will cost me my life here at the last second. Unless the guy chooses to leave. Oh! Little bitch! Oh. 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 Right on time. Let's grab that blood and find that skinwalker and then this already. Looks like the skinwalker's loitering around the tower. Should've known. Should've known. Cut 
the lights don't want to startle it. This ain't my dog. You think I'm a fucking moron? You think I'd fall for that? Little bitch! Yeah, no fucking way I left my dog there, you coward! Yeah, right! Dude, I remember where I left him. Why are you running? Hmm? All your followers are dead. Just you now. Just you and me. What's this? Is there another... Another follower? He's actually coming back in after me. Hello? 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 Yeah, skinwalker. Circling my village. Hey, hey, coward. Where'd you scamper off to? He's gone. Fast as he showed up. I'm sure we'll find him soon. Skinwalker only has one thing on his mind. Killing. Death. Blood. I thought I just saw a little ghoul run along my feet, but I think it was just in my head. You fucking actually missed. You actually missed your ambush attack. You missed the ambush attack? You bo- you gotta be fucking kidding me. You missed the ambush attack. Skinwalker doesn't have what it takes. He ain't like his brother. He ain't like his brother from Zone 1. Now, this Skinwalker... This one lacks the ability, the drive. Keep hearing like a fun duck sound and I keep thinking that I can hang out with a duck in this game. And then I am sadly let down when I look and I don't see a duck anywhere. I guess I'll go over here and save. I guess I have to go save. Is that a bear too? Ah, oh, I guess I'm- I guess I'm dead! I guess- I guess I'm- The flare! I guess you're dead! If you ever cross me again. Sorry, dude. I don't recognize that skinwalker sound. But if he was near me, he would have activated the sensor. Which means that, in fact, isn't a skinwalker. That's like some kind of other monster from hell. But rest assured, 
If it was a skinwalker, it would make one of the many well-known skinwalker sounds. Like, <clears throat> that's a well-known skinwalker sound. All right, it might have been a skinwalker. Put that. Dude, my guy, I just don't fucking have time for you right now. I just don't. There's a skinwalker on the loose and you're fucking attacking me. Pathetic. The difference in our power is vast. Anyone see him flying for a second? That was the Skidwalker's patented jump move. Which he uses to attack humans. Which you'd know if you were a trained Skidwalker trainer and hunter. Yeah, I'm gonna try to farm some XP off of these crows. These aren't real animals. I'm, I'm, I'm confirming it now. I mean, there's a, there's a guy I guess I gotta go kill up there, up north. I guess I can go get him. Kill the last follower of the Skinwalker. Then the Skinwalker will truly be all alone. <laughs> if animals are overwhelming you, throw a flare. Dude. I got three more bear traps to throw down. I should put them down in the middle. I should be more, like, intelligent. With, like, positioning and where I put things. And also, where the hell's that bear? He won't get me twice. That I can assure you. Right here, in the middle. By this dead guy. Sorry, lady. In the frog. Right here. Perfect. Now we just wait for the Wendigo to take a smell, a whiff of this, and then we punish it for that. I heard something. I looted this room. So I didn't loot every building in this town. I know that for sure. Dude, it's, I, I literally see ghosts walking the streets, giving me headaches. I, I, I will not monk a W like everyone else here. I truly am attacked at all times by demons. Like, what do you got to give me? Four shotgun shells. Fuck you. If you're gonna waste my time with a slow opening door at... I got, I have actually nothing to say.
I, 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 I truly am speechless. I'm, I'm just so tired, you know, I'm just tired. He's now paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I'm tired. All right. This hunt's gone on a long time. But I got a good feeling that soon it's going to be over. I don't want to stop by the ambulance. Get a full heal. Hang on, hang on, fuck that. I got a Wendigo track down here. Of course, he's walking backwards again. He's in, he's in no man's land. He's in the place I never go. Fine, works with me. You wanna tango? Let's tango. got to be deep in this zone. Really deep. I just heard like a gorilla. Like I just saw him. At least I thought I did. One more and I'll be able to force him to come to me. Am I a fucking bad aim? What the fuck just happened? It is nice having the silencer though. The silencer is actually crazy. Uh, really good. Doesn't help if I can't find the thing I just killed though. I mean, I guess these guys do always come in twos. I mean, here is a good place to summon the beast. Here, let me place a bonfire. And then place a big pile of flesh next to it. Yeah, that's right. All the way down my sight line, you freak. There he is. <laughs> there he is. He's crawling towards me like a little freak. <laughs> Did you see that? If you look carefully, you can still see him. Crawling around, scampering. Sorry, Owl, but you gotta die, man. I need the fucking meat, chat. It's the only way we can fucking summon the, the monster to me. This guy doesn't leave blood anywhere. I will say here's another good place for a bear trap. All right. <laughs> no, I have to beat him. I have to. I have to beat him. I have to beat him. I. We don't get to go to the next level ever if I don't beat this one. I have to beat him. I just forgot you can walk into your own bear traps this fucking game. But now I can use the outside knowledge of the last map to do it even better. 
Now I can remember exactly where he came from last time and use it again to kill him again. Where's the hogs? Isn't there a ghost right here? Ooh, yep. Yeah, you gotta be careful for that. That ghost is gonna make this a lot more complicated. You gotta be careful. Can't go anywhere near the damn thing. Just gotta get one more meat again. I can also check out that guy over there. I see him. He's right there. Look at his little crawl. Little freak. I thought I could get him while he crossed. It's going that way. He's going to my tower. He's probably going to steal my stuff while he knows I'm out. Fucking bastard. He knows how much I love that stuff in the tower. All the stuff I keep in there. Probably going to take my stuff. He's through it now. He's to the yeah, he's going back to my. He's he, he, unfortunately, chat. The ambulance I rented for this job is actually like it's like free healthcare kind of like he, they can't they can't refuse to heal the skinwalker if he shows up and asks. And it's really setting me back because unfortunately, the skinwalker just requests to be healed, and they heal him on the spot. I'm actually going to fucking make sure that you regret the day you were born. Alright. Alright, so the skinwalker is probably right there. That's where I'd go. If I knew I was cornered on all sides, I'd go to the scary green mushroom. Can I eat that? No. You know the skinwalker's up here. And if he isn't, well, I might just make him be up here. You know what I mean? F fucking try it, asshole. God, there's a lot of dogs barking right now. Well, if there is no one to go here, that'd be a real shame because I was pretty interested in sharing this big pile of disgusting meat. That's what I fucking thought. Some of this meat, don't you, you disgusting animal? <laughs> Try to zigzag me. Come back. Come back. He's gone. Psych. 
one last hit for the road, pussy. All right. All right. Uh, the hermit of the hills. I still just can't believe how fucking mean the entire gang was when they met that guy in Scooby-Doo. They straight up called him a creeper. Like, multiple times, and all he did was offer them food and shelter in his cave. His cave. That they entered of their own accord. And they were like, I think he's a weirdo creeper monster. He's a freak. He was creepy. He's a hermit! He has no human interaction! And then people show up in his life, and he's like, oh, hell yeah, someone to talk to. And they're all like, this guy's a freak. This guy's a literal freak man. I don't think he's the monster, but I think he might be worse. He's just a freak, guys. Zoinks. This guy might be the fucking creeper. Jinkies, gang. This guy might be a freak. Like, what? The fuck did you just say? You guys walked in here. This is... Hang on, I'm not gonna keep falling for it. I can use my own fucking security to like towers as like zones to farm XP because there's always a fucking crow on them. Always. Always. Every time. Is that a bear? Yep. Ambulance! Ambulance! Help! Help, I got mauled by a bear! Help me! Ow! I tripped! Help, I got a boo-boo. Chat, I got literally mauled. I got... Literally mauled by a bear. Then go back and pick up more ammo from the ammo store. And then I reckon we finished this. Maximum aggression. Full power. Hunt this bastard down and put him down. Once and for all. No, I never looted this town. Might be like something valuable actually in it. Who knows? Uh, apparently there's a moose in it. According to the sounds, there's a fully grown moose somewhere in this town. Requires a key. Yo, you know where the key is? My friend. Looks like we're not getting in there anytime soon. Nor are we getting in there anytime soon. That someone's disembodied head in that gas mask or wouldn't be able to hold that kind of shape. Bowl. I think there's a bear sprinting right at me. But I can't be sure. Wendigo? I heard lurking. I feel like he's here. But that would be stupid of it. This is my realm. I have infinite ammo. Wish I had my shotgun. But I don't remember where the fuck it spawns.
Well, now I know where two separate weirdos are. Or whatever the fuck those things are. I might as well check what they are, huh? Because I haven't checked it either time I've unlocked it. Not the owl, the other thing. It sounded like metal. Thinking. Yeah, there might be something nearby. Go save and investigate. Find out what's over there. In the fucking hills. And then the and then the skinwalker dies. Unless it gets me first. But frankly. Given my expertise, unlikely. I'm tired. I'm just tired of playing characters that have asthma, you know? As someone who lived with asthma as a child, I'm kinda, I don't really, I kinda don't need to play someone with it. You know, like I, it's immersive. Does everyone have asthma? The game could just say you're in shit shape. That's it. That's it. No, 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 no. All right, they're gone. Piece of shit. I better see one of those weirdos in the woods. Although, like, I don't really want to fight the worshippers. I want to fight the monster. Did I like that fire? Who made that? No, that was me. That was me, 100% me. Snake. It's a really good place to fight a skinwalker though. Nice open field. What the fuck is that? Do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Has the has the skinwalker been tracking me as well? Seems like yes. It's coming. Let's see if I can pull off the old trick. Classic. Hell is he? Who, how, f he can't be coming from that way, or I would have detected it. Better he's immensely far away. But I heard him from here. He is coming, right? Where the hell is he? <gasps> you thought, bitch! You fucking thought he made himself unsensible? <gasps> Skinwalker! That's cool, that's cool. I'll just break your other fucking ritual site. I'll just go walk over and break the other one too then. 
That's fine. We got multiple of these up here. No biggie. Let's break the next one too. Oh! Oh, what's this? Oh, what's the what's this, dude? Bro. What is this? Oh, that made him double pissed off. he's gonna cloak it or not this might be a straight line idiot kind of sprint to me literally there he is I'm gonna let him get real close and there it is and there it is There he goes yet again. There goes my hero. See, now it's time to be a super gamer, which is we go back to the bear trap we put down earlier, which we which I used for a specific reason. Because now I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for him to chill out and stop running, and I'm gonna pick up the blood the bear trap got me, which is gonna enable me to hunt him down again. We know he's going for the ambulance. We know this. That part's easy, but where does he go after the ambulance? He's beyond the ambulance right now. If I go this way, I may intercept him. If the fucking bears would just like leave me alone. Damn it. I didn't do that. If inspecting Skinwalker's footprint of blood, you'll be able to see the direction of the current Skinwalker for three times longer. 30 fucking seconds? That's really good. Well, I am going the right way right now. I should be able to... Wow. Hey, Skinwalker, dude! I, uh... <laughs> found another one of your things, dude! Man, I'm just, wreck I'm just breaking all of his stuff. Should be here in a couple seconds. Yeah, there he is, he's stealthed. Can see his stupid fucking outline. He could come out of that bush and try to get me. And step on a bear trap and then get shot. And there he goes. And there he goes. And there it is. <laughs> there it is, dude. <laughs> he runs away as fast as he can. And once he's made a good amount of distance, I'll just pick up his blood and hunt him down for possibly the last time. <laughs> Don't hurt me! Uh, feels like enough time has passed. Yep. Oh, yeah. He's gonna be right in front of us. He's genuinely running at me. He is seriously... This is... Uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> Skinwalker! This is gonna be the end of the line. Can't keep doing this song and dance. I'm not a map to hide in, boy. He's running right at me. He, he's trying to finish the fight, chat. Because he's realized it's over. He is good at serpentining, though. That's a hog. And there's a dog. I think he'll be able to risk, like, resist the allure of a single pile of meat. Is he coming back at me?
trying to end it. I should have 360'd it, dude. Fuck, I should have 360'd it. Hang on. I lit him on fire with my spin. The spin, the friction of my spin was enough to light the grass on fire. It's as simple as that, man. I hope it's the last time I encounter such a horrible creature. <laughs> but somehow I doubt it because this is my profession. And or ignore the four. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs to the channel. You know what that means. Ah! Very good. Could have played on hard. I wasn't even playing on the hardest difficulty, dude. I kind of want to see what this map looks like, though. Much like last time we played, I'm not gonna have time to do it. But I do want to. I do want to look around quick and like see what it looks like. Little teaser for whenever I play this game again. Okay, this is like a dark level. This is the newest one. Okay, it's also the largest level. Oh, this one's like the really spooky. Well, we can take a look around. Take a quick peek. Out here in the depths of France. This is a big map. I can tell just by looking at how far I'm actually traveling when I check. Motion all around me, but I don't know where the hell it is. Except things in the trees. The hell's that? Why do I feel like I'm gonna like actually have Slender Man like come out and like walk at me? Is that bees? That was bees. That was actually bees. Oh well, I'm safe. I'm not in much danger up here now. My dog? We'll at least check the dog. Before I go. I got like special shoes. Question is, are you evil? I have no reason to doubt you. See, what I would like is the Wendigo to have some more, or I guess the Skinwalker. I always say Wendigo. I guess it would be cool if the Skinwalker had some, like, you're not a dog. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna wrap up. It'd be cool if they had some uh, more moves. Because, like, the coolest thing that happens is, like, when it does, like, the, uh, like, oh, it transforms into the dog. That's, like, the best fucking jump scare in this game. Uh, hands down. Like, uh, that are some more gimmicks per map. Who knows if this one maybe has some? Because obviously I don't have time to check it all right now. Uh, but, yeah, the, the, um, the, when it turned into a dog the first time I ever played this game, it legit scared the absolute shit out of me. But, yeah, that it's a good time. I like it. Anyways, chat, I'm done. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. ish. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly what yet I'm streaming, but I've got uh, a lot of really cool things that I'm like working on, but just like sitting on to see what day is the best to actually do them. But uh, at some point in the next couple days, we'll be doing Skyrim VR because uh, I've been setting up a uh, a thing for that. I also um, am planning on doing. VTOL VR multiplayer. 
They added proper multiplayer co-op support for that game, so Lawman and I are going to do it at some point in the next week or so, uh, which will be unbelievably cursed. Uh, we, we've tested it. It works. It's all got, like, in-game VoIP. We can see each other, like, in the same, like, co-op helicopter. It is extremely cool and extremely cursed. Uh, so, yeah, keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Anyways, uh, thank you all very much for all the gifted subs and donations and bits. Off a lot today. I really appreciate it, as always. Very kind. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. Monster Hunter uh, Rise Sunbreak demo. I don't give two shits about demo for a game like Monster Hunter, dude. Let me know when the actual game's out. Let me, let me, let me, let me know when the game is out in a couple weeks, and then we'll see. Although I won't be streaming it. I'll tell you what. That'll be a day off. <laughs> All right. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye.